We are back. My next guest tonight, please welcome a very funny guy, Artie Lang. Our next guest is one of the funniest guys there is. He eats devil dogs for breakfast and cigarettes for lunch. Hey, ladies, here he is, Artie Lang. We're joined right now by a hilarious comedian. His latest project, The Artie Quitter Podcast, is available through artiequitter.com. Please give a warm welcome to a good friend of the show. Here's Artie Lang, ladies and gentlemen. Our next guest is a uh, regular on the Howard Stern uh, radio program and the author of this uh, New York Times bestseller entitled Too Fat to Fish. Here he is, the very funny Artie Lang. Oh, Artie. It always makes me laugh when I see Artie Lang on stage. <laughs> Knowing I'm going to outlive him. <laughs> a Jack Daniels swilling pizza eating dog hating whore using cocaine abusing hairy back big belly blowhard from New Jersey. The fat little bastard known as Artie Lang. Ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the stage, Arthur Lang. <laughs> what is For only 15% off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Please, let me know, let me know, Dan. Please welcome to the stage, Arthur Lang. Oh my God, turn this down. Turn, turn my Aren't volume Aren't you going to eat? <laughs> Turn his volume no, down. Eat, eat, yeah. No, you go ahead, Josh. Uh, nah, Justin, eat, eat, eat. No, can't hear shit. Can, uh, are we on? We're, We're on the air. We're uh, rolling. This whole time? That familiar hack you're hearing. <laughs> <laughs> not, co not comedy. The unfamiliar. <laughs> hey, that's so nice of you to call. Here we go. Call. Here, here, here we go, comes. Tammy. It starts already. <laughs> no, stuttering John. Oh. Are we Stuttering starting? Is this, is it's this? we're on the air, buddy. On the air. All right. Well, look, can I just say that we're doing the Art of the Lang podcast? What is it? <laughs> you want to make this official? <laughs> yes. And these, the Stuttering John podcast on iTunes and Podcast One. Love, romance, and other lives with wait, 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 What are you doing? What? You're doing you're doing an official intro to your show. Well, yeah, we're simulcasting. Well, why don't us. we tag it at the end or something? All right, whatever. What? No, do it again. Good. Okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, who you're here listening to the Audio Lang podcast along with the Stuttering John podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what is that's, that's the, the former <laughs> That's the former announcer for the The Stuttering show. John podcast. <laughs> Someone wooed John, him love, away from his original John, John. Love, romance, and other lies John, with Tammy Pescatelli. John, let me ask you something. <laughs> Have you given up? Huh. Given up what? <laughs> Have you? I'm trying. Have you what looked in the fucking doing? mirror? Your, Have you looked in the fucking mirror? That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about your 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 attitude here. Are, are you officially putting your show great. on the air? This is like Rocky Three. They just come out fucking <laughs> pounding each other in the face. No, opening I, I, bell. I, was that your intro to your show? No, but I just thought we should do something official. I don't. I don't. I never do something official. It's pre-taped. <laughs> yeah, but how many have you done? Like two hundred and six. Yeah. Yeah. This so is four. This is your fourth. So you will explain what it is. You're doing. You're launching a podcast. Yeah, we we we, we have had a great podcast together with uh, all three our, of them. <laughs> our first guest, Howie Mando. Right. Uh, why is it? What is that voice? Guy, what, is, what, is, why, what is that why voice? It's Bud Friedman. This is what is that? Howie Mando. Ladies and gentlemen. Is a stuttering John podcast? Is that your <laughs> is that your eighty two beers voice? Yes. No, this is my. How many beers have you had? Oh, only ten. Now, John, of course, whenever John's here, there's there's a there's a there's a scared teenager in the corner <laughs> who is who is either related to him or, or lives in his neighborhood. <laughs> like uh, the family says, uh, uh, Uncle John's coming. <laughs> what is your name? Uh, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. So, Justin, how are you related to your uncle? Uh, we're not related. Uh, well, how do you know him? He uh, played football for years with my father and uncle. <laughs> <laughs> he played football with your father? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's a, so that means you have to drive him whenever he comes home? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> so he's your driver? Well, well, Artie, he's not telling the truth. I only got him backstage for how many uh, dysfunctional family picnics? Yeah. Justin. <laughs> so wait a minute. That was a thing at K Rock. Explain what that is. Well, it's a whole band thing that I. A lot of bands. A lot of bands, and I also. Dan, do you, spoke, do you, do you, uh, do you see what's going on? Here? You want me to just keep going? 
I don't have any more mics. Oh, sit over here, Justin. Uh, <laughs> Here so we go. Why this, don't you come cuddle with what, your no, uncle? We got to explain who he is. <laughs> this is where Artie... Uh, we got to explain who he is. Immediately I, trashes me. <laughs> I don't think there's any appropriate explanation for this. <laughs> well, yeah, Justin, so you're yeah. you're a guy who knows John through your father. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. And and he uh, asks you to drive him when he comes into town. He asked me to hang out, but usually... Just to I'm, hang out. I'm driving somewhere. Right, he's yeah. a very good-looking, young <laughs> Just boy band look, that Michael John takes, Jackson. On, yeah, John takes on the road so you, you that we can't explain. Do you also drive Lou Pearlman in Florida? <laughs> 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 what? So so uh, John says to you, I plan on having like 40 beers today. So, oh, no, no. John doesn't drink, really. Well, he's drinking really? right now. No, no, he. No. John, John. Oh, he doesn't drink. Are you supposed the to? The last ask? guy he drove for was Jared Fogle. And let me just say. Who's Jared Fogle? <laughs> oh, forget it. Oh, the subway guy. <laughs> uh, so, is John, wait, is John not supposed to be drinking in public? No, no. Well, if John couldn't drink in public, John wouldn't go in public. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he, he says to you, he wants to hang out with you. That's his fake thing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and when, then you just happen to drive all the time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want to hang out with Justin? Well, Justin's not being completely honest. I love Justin, and right. Justin loves me. And yes, I think Justin likes to hang out with me. And he yes. show us on the doll, times. Justin. Well, the, <laughs> the last guy, the last guy that uh, was here also was your best friend. He also had a car. <laughs> no, that was my nephew. That was my nephew. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Your nephew, he's a good kid. And uh, yeah. what happened? He was busy. Yes, he. <laughs> Yes, he finally got a job. Oh, okay, well, that's good. I'm still working on that. But this is actually uh, no. You have a gig now. You're on a, a podcast network, yeah. which is cool. Yeah, and on, uh, on Adam Carolla's network, which is a big deal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's huge. Uh-huh. Adam's got. It might be the biggest podcast in the world, Adam. Right? Yeah, Adam's. Adam's. What I hear is making over five million dollars a year. Where do you wow. hear that from? You ask him. <laughs> John, John asked me what they make after knowing them for three seconds. <laughs> Hi, this is John Mulaney. What do you make? What are you talking about? Oh, for a little, what do you make? <laughs> what do you do? Uh, but the big, the big thing, the big classy thing about the podcast, we, it's a real co-host. Tammy Pescatelli, who's hilarious and a good friend of mine, is your co-host. Yes. Which is great. I think that's awesome. Yeah, Tammy's beautiful, funny, and, uh, you know, it's... It, her husband yeah. is, is my friend that I met in Tony Tina's wedding, which was the same place that I met my wife. That's cool. Wow. Now, do you have a nephew that'll drive John in Cleveland? <laughs> <laughs> this is part of my public service. Now, the other thing is the great Russ Maneev is here. Ah, thank you, buddy. Yes. Buddy. And John, Russ, and I have history. We, we did a gig together in May of 2003 at the Columbus, Ohio Funny Bone. That I've been hearing about this whole time. Well, it became sort of legendary because the, the following Monday, we, uh-huh. we got to the show and Howard asked about our weekend and John talked about, you know, everything I ate, which was a lot. And uh, We went to the Steak and Shake. Right. And you ordered like... Uh, a steak and a shake. <laughs> No. Several of each. Twelve sticks. Yeah. Nine of those. And uh yeah, well I mean and so and somehow I'm the dirtbag of the, the crew. After John has he does fifty two whippets in the green. <laughs> That's right. The and Russ Greg Allman used to leave like heroin needles. John, it was fifty two ready whip fans. <laughs> Oh, he lost his headphones. Get the, the, and, and you know what's so funny is all Russ did was drink a latte. Well, Russ was... Is that what he I did? Drink, he didn't have a latte. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Russ, it, Russ was actually... You know, it's back when I found out how, what, how often Russ writes, actually. Well, I felt, then, I felt yeah. terrible. <laughs> Russ yeah, was telling me his writing nice. schedule. And Russ was a professional comedian who did very well. And was. I'm, he is, he is, he is yeah, still a professional. When we I met, like when we met, uh, uh, you know, and uh, John and I where you know well john was doing whippets and i was eating a steak and shake what else can i say <laughs> <laughs> and they were sold out shows i i did two and a half hours drunk on stage i don't, uh, like, I, I don't remember it you were the funny bone or where were you at, a at theater? the funny bone the last show I, I woke up and realized i spoke publicly the night before and i didn't remember it oh uh, already that's you, a horrifying feeling wow. put it this way the stage manager came up to me she goes stage manager yeah what are we Mo. doing what are we doing wicked <laughs> yeah <laughs> no it was this chick and what, she uh, goes her name is mo yeah <laughs> all right well fucking and she was like, hey, are you going to take him off stage? Right. And I go, no, I'm not going near well, that stage. It's the last show. I mean, who cares? No, but no, it was like guys going back and be like, yeah, hey, I'll fucking fight you. Right. <laughs> he went to sell. John tells a wicked story, I'll tell you. <laughs> no. You can weave a tale. But the best thing is that she wrote a letter. What did you, what, what happened with her? You, she you left a, a lot out. W- well. I said, what happened? You said, the stage manager, woo. <laughs> no, but she wrote a letter and, you know, like, she to did. the she owner. Got, she was mad, yeah. She said, 
uh, you know, John and Artie did a show. John had no control over the show. Artie, well, what did she think was going to happen? You were going to have control over the show? <laughs> and she said that... Yeah, well, I can't hear anything then. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, but she's, right. Well, th- th- there's a, th- in between, Dan, in between. But she said, although <laughs> we sold out of three brands of beer, we've never sold more beer ever in the history of the Perfect. Columbus well, What the hell is she complaining about? Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. Yeah. There's a problem. We made a lot of money. I know. <laughs> I love and, when they do that. And define yeah. out of control. I mean, it wasn't out of control. Yeah, show. Russ, you were there. It was no I big was deal. Was but no she, big she deal. was a bitch. She was a problem. <laughs> there's always. So she's doing well. <laughs> she's probably yes. there. I don't remember if she's still there. I don't, think I don't so. know, but I know that we really did well. We sold so much fucking. We sold out every show. Yeah, but the, 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 that was when I saw. That's the first time I saw Larry the Cable Guy. I saw a picture of him, and I said to the guy, "What is this guy?" And the guy goes, "That's his bit." I go, "That's never gonna work." Right. <laughs> How astute you I are! Said, I know. Already. I said to the guy, "Well, that's the point of the story." <laughs> I said, uh, "Yeah." I said, uh, "This guy, that, that's a ridiculous gimmick." Tell the guy to go back to his. The guy's got, now the guy's got a gym in his house. <laughs> the guy's got a basketball, full court basketball yeah. gym. In his house. Yeah. <laughs> because he's Larry the Cable Guy. And a diner. I've been there. He's got a waitress. Wow. He has a diner in, in his mm-hmm. house. He's yep. actually that's obnoxious. He's actually the sweetest guy in the world. His name yep. is Dan, but he's the sweetest guy in the world. How do you know that? Because I he would hang out with amazing. him on the Tonight Show. We would, you know, he was a big fan of the Stern Show. Yeah, ask, we, ask him what he makes a year. <laughs> <laughs> what what, what he's do you the make? Waitress. <laughs> what are you pulling? How much does the tool belt run you? <laughs> What's the overhead? <laughs> On those real fl- flannel. <laughs> What's the licensing fee on get her, get her done? What do you What do you drop on laundry? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know, John. You guys are both in your characters. I don't know, John. Let's get some Prilosec. <laughs> What's Prilosec paper? He, he is actually the sweetest guy in the world. Okay, you're on record. No, I am. No, if he does I, another plumber movie, you'll be in it. No, no, I know. I asked him to be one of them, but I never got the call back. How'd you do that? Hi, <laughs> hi, uh, hi, uh, John. I'm Dan. Can I be in one of your movies? <laughs> <laughs> How did you ask him to be in a movie? No, I don't really think How'd I did. Go? I didn't think. He's got this hot wife too, and we this were at great. the. Why wouldn't he? We were at the comedy. Yeah, but she's Central. a real wife, like you know what I mean. That one like, that really likes him really? and loves yeah, him, and yeah. she's a good one. All right, let's see about that. Look at no, movie. he's a super sweet dude, man. You should have him on here. No, oh, yeah, okay, Dan, get right on that. <laughs> well, we could have come on any time. I never thought of it. We come on. He's yeah. a really funny dude, and you should have him on, dude. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't think he'd come on here. He's that big. I don't think he would do this. Oh, I think, I think he's he above would. the show. No, he's a big fan <laughs> of the Stern Show. And his wife really loves him? Yeah, for real. Yeah, and she's uh, super freaking hot. I think she's hanging out with Ed, Ed the plumber guy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm at the building. I'm at the carpenter guy. <laughs> uh, well, so now the podcast, how often are you going to do them? Because We I think- only have once. We only do one a week. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's fine. And now Tammy flies to wherever you do it. You do it live because that works better than an ISDN line. But- yeah, yeah. Well, so far of the three that we've done. Right. I went out to L.A. for two, and then we've been in here in New York. That's good. When's the next one? But John wants me to stay at his house. Where, mm. Where's that? In Calabasas? You- well, no. Oh, no. I just bought a place in Canoga Park, which is Spanish for your life is over. Uh-huh. But, it's, it's, uh-huh. it's, it's, it, but it's nice. I mean, you have the view. <laughs> is that in your act? Is that joking? No, no, no. It's not my act. You know, go, go fuck yourself, Artie. <laughs> what you are you what? talking about? I just asked oh. if that joke was in your act. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I just had it was Pat, a good joke. I just, I just had Pat Cooper on. I know. Her. <laughs> no, you, got, you got all the you got all the current ones. <laughs> but is he in One Direction? <laughs> so funny. Oh, Pat, Pat Cooper. <laughs> I love Pat Cooper. I thought he was dead actually. Oh, he just went off on on our people who you thought were dead series. He went on. <laughs> such he a trashed dick. everybody. Yeah, he tra- he went. F- he went from trashing Howard to you and, right. and said how unfunny you were. Right. And then he went to... I don't think he thought it was you. <laughs> no, I mean, then he went to... Was you thinking about Jessica Lang? <laughs> <laughs> and, then he, and then he went to... Uh, yeah, was, really got you, Dan, did it? He was terrible in King Kong. <laughs> he said Dice He said dice wasn't funny. Right. He, all the, all Cook the, wasn't funny. All the people who dwarf his income. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, well, that's good. So, what, what, what do you say about Howard, though? Oh, he just he went off on Howard. I just said, well, why don't you like mend the fences like I did? Like that's what well, I that did. what happened. Yeah, it's all over the Twitter that you and Howard made up. Well, there wasn't a feud. Was there a feud? 
Was there a feud? <laughs> well, I mean, you know. <laughs> Artie, last time I was on your fucking show. Yeah, but it didn't sound, it didn't sound vicious. It was just like, a, you know. What do you mean? That he, he talked about it and said how hurt he was. Well, I mean, that, that's not a real feud. He wasn't mad. He was hurt. <laughs> you were feuding before that, though, weren't you? What yeah. the fuck's the difference? Oh. So what happened? <laughs> so what happened? How'd you mend it? Well, I, mean, I don't even know how much it's mended, but I, I reached out to Beth Stern. You know, his, so you initiated Beth. it? Beth. Yeah. And you know his wife, yeah, yeah, on yeah. Facebook, and I because I don't have Howard's email or or like or. Well, I think that's number. on purpose. Huh? Yeah, I, 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 I listen to Dan. He's never. I would been more tickled. Oh, I, well, I was. I, I, was I would tend to agree. <laughs> right. And, well, I, mean, I don't uh, either. I mean, I, I mean, I have his phone number. He's, he's had the same phone number forever. I was always impressed by that. He never changes. Number. Yeah, but I never remembered. But anyway, so, I got it if you want. <laughs> no, but I've given it out of raffles. <laughs> I've done that before. I go to an auction. I, I forget to bring a prize. I, like David tells auction, I give out spades. Sell them. Spades. It's happened three times. And he calls me. He goes, "What are you doing?" He goes, "He goes, Bo, Bozo called me." That's right. Uh, but anyway, so I emailed uh, and I just I said, "Beth." Well, you, you had Beth's email. Well, I had her on Facebook. She follows me on oh, Facebook. Okay. And then I said, uh, "Hey, Beth, could you just like send us to hell?" And I wrote. Very simply, I said, you know, um, Howard, I know we said some horrible things about each other in the past, and I just wanted to say that if I hurt you, right. I apologize. I've always considered you a friend. Well, that's right. You know, best, John. Then he wrote back and said, thank you so much for saying that. That's great. All is good. No worries. And that was it. Are you sure it was even him? Yeah, because he wrote Howard. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Okay, let's take a vote. <laughs> Does anyone think Howard wrote that? He might have. I actually think he did. He probably yeah, I, I thought, actually it, think I thought it was Beth. Because huh. Beth's very sweet. She's trying to mend Aww. the fence. <laughs> no, I think it was Howard. Well, okay, because... so can you call him now and hang out? Like, did he... No, I don't think it's. It, I don't think it's that mended. But I think at least, yeah. you know, I reached out. I, I extended the olive branch. As you right. Know, okay. You know, you know. So I mean, Justin, do you think it's mended? I, I think more or less. I think if they see each other, he'll probably wave. But I, <laughs> yeah, like define, define. Now, what, what about Howie Mandel? Yeah, Howie Mandel knows Howard. Does he think it's mended when you tell that story? No, but it, you know what? Already, like you know, both you and I, you know, we've had you know tumultuous pasts with Howard, and I, I think what that kind of past? Tumultuous uh, past. Is there an R in there or no? Well, why would you say tumultuous? Why would you? Say that? Why, don't you why don't you avoid yeah. that word? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you wear a jacket that hasn't fit since you were 12? Oh, he bit back. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to hold for laugh, and then we'll go. All right. Anyway, so I, I think that, uh, you know, like both you and I, and I, I just, Why are you bringing me into it? Well. Uh, Why do I have to you do You bring an attorney in here. No, you don't have any. I mean, aren't you and Howard not talking? I, I've heard that. One you, of us isn't talking. I've heard that you are upset with him, and I've heard on, from who? I've heard on several podcasts. I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I. But what does that have to do with you in the tumultuous path? What I'm saying. I don't think both, I'm tumultuous. No. Well, that's you. Okay, whichever it may be. Right. We both aren't allowed. We're banned from the place. But don't well, you think that by talking about that email that you sent and back, you're putting yourself right back in that exact situation? No, I don't him? think so. I think I think. What was your goal in sending the email? You just wanted to be friends? No, you know what? I already. I think that you know, at some point in your life, you get older and say, "Why am I holding on to these grudges?" And like, right. like, like, why? <laughs> Does it do me any good to? to but you know, if one to other keep person, on... well, one other person in the relationship is not showing any care at all. Why would you do that? To well, yourself? He was married, so yeah, I mean, you <laughs> he's know. used to it. No, no. Well, he emailed me back, and I think you know, I don't, I don't anticipate him. So you, f you think what what you just told me is closure? I guess in a way, at least I tried. You know, like to make up. I with think him. it's great. I, I don't think he's you know reciprocated in any way, really. Well, he wrote back and said everything. That's good. nice of you to say thank you. You wrote a very sweet thing. I think yeah. he could have said more, don't you? Uh, no, I, I think, think he could was... have told he could have told Beth to say more. <laughs> <laughs> I think he could have told the cat that he trained to type. <laughs> it's all very good. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey John, uh, we we taught a cat to type, <laughs> and Howard can't get back to you, but this is Timmy. <laughs> Oh, why Timmy? Yeah. You know, Jackie's still pissed about the Timmy thing. Who's Timmy? Who's Timmy? What are you talking about? You don't know this? Oh. 
No. <laughs> it's a flux capacitor. No, Jackie, we're not done, we're not done yet with the train cap. But no, no, no. Jackie also. I wasn't done with the train cap bit. Uh, all right. We'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm, killing. I'm killing. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, it should have been a dog. It looks dog. like Morris. Remember Morris the cat? <laughs> a dog. <laughs> no, Jackie was so upset. That <laughs> you didn't read this on Radar Online or whatever it was? Yeah. I, unlike you, I don't get up and read Radar Online. I don't either. He's actually doing a show get, on HBO. But, you know, but I see it. <laughs> what do you do? Well, what do you, what is it? Well, do you really want to know, or you want to just Google me? I don't me? care. I don't know. Well, yeah, well, you yeah, I don't know. You're well, making well, it sound like it's a lot of uh, big news. Go ahead, say it. Uh, I didn't say it was big news. What am I, fucking <laughs> Peter Jennings? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Peter Williams, whatever his name is. <laughs> just say tumultuous. Ryan Williams. Can you say tumultuous? Cat <laughs> Jennings. <That's... laughs> what am I, Walter Cronkite? Just, I don't know. Fucking... Just say tumultuous again. <laughs> well, what is the news? Now I gotta hear it. T- Tim, the word, I said the name of Timmy, and you said Jackie's still mad. You, got, you didn't see it on the radar online. I guess Jackie said that he was upset because now Howard is a big cat lover, right? And yet, when his cat Timmy was lost, oh, I didn't even know died. his cat's name was Timmy. I oh think. yeah, all right. oh, well, I, I, I think some can't. Subconsciously, you maybe knew. I did. That's crazy. That is a weird coincidence. <laughs> yeah, but and they goofed on him for weeks. That his cat yes, died. Th- that his cat died, and 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 it's Jackie was and Jackie was upset that now that Howard's a cat lover, that it was it was it, you know I, I'm not I'm not speaking for anybody, uh, but I'm guessing. Yes, you. Are. <laughs> but no, I'm not. It was a fucking article, Tammy. But <laughs> like by reading it, it seems like Jackie thought it was somewhat hypocritical because now Howard's in love with cats, but yet he fucking beat him. Dan, up for uh, it. Dan, can we cut that out? That yeah. <laughs> uh, well, well uh, again, let me see. Why do you want to cut that out? Well, let me see if I can get the bit back with the, with the, oh, the, oh, the oh. cat typing. Okay, I'm no, sorry. I'm no, sorry. I, I can't do it. Well, I you know, do it. I just want to do the cat typing there. I want to hear this shit. <laughs> Is that Leno? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking Leno. <laughs> now, how's your relationship with Leno? Very well. That's great. Well, he's That's a good. very nice guy. He's a great guy. He is a good guy. I remember when I was in Is he as nice a guy as Larry the Cable Guy? <laughs> <laughs> They're both very nice. Who's funnier? Guys. What's that? Who's funnier? Who the fuck am I to judge another guy? Well, comedy? you said Larry the Cable Guy's very funny. He's very funny. And Jay Leno's obviously very funny. Very funny. In your opinion, who's funnier? I, I can't. I don't judge that. All right? Okay. You know, I mean, like. So uh, it's a tie. Put you down for a tie. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, when you sit and judge. <laughs> Russ, Russ, what do you want? <laughs> I mean, like, you're going to sit. Oh, I mean, you're going to sit and judge who's funnier to you? I don't you know. You judge people all the time. I think if somebody asked me a comparison between two people, I could, I could probably. Uh, all right, so right, who's one. funnier for you? Jay, Jay Leno? Leno? I think or Jay Leno. Jay Leno, Leno at his height was, was destroyed. Larry I think Jay Leno was funnier. Yeah. No. Okay. I, yeah. I mean, when well, he was a real working club comic. Right. I don't know if he's still doing it now. He didn't need a hammer and a tool set. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's what you do. Is fucking sit and judge other comics. You seem to be able to do that already. Well, you, I, you, I, you do it in your head, though. You must. Though. You have no, to. I, no, I don't. I don't. Come on. I don't, no, I get that tell you. Well, you're bringing it to Leno. <laughs> <laughs> Who's funnier? Well, you don't want to ask. Well, that's a Tammy. Who do you think's funnier, Jay Leno or uh, Larry the Cable Guy? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that guy? Who yeah, do you think is funny, Jay Leno or the guy whose last name is the Cable Guy? <laughs> well, Dan Whitney is always fun. You know what it is, though. Here's Dan what Whitney it is. is his name. Right? Here's yeah. what it is, Artie. They both do these amazing corporates, right? That we don't ever get to see their material. I find but, it astonishing that there's comedians who won't say Jay Leno's way funny because you know the shit that get, i get into if i say anything about it well, i don't, don't want to have to hide it there's not going to be a liar the cable guy I think there's the a fatwa in my head no matter what you say I think jay, the cable guy would say jay leno would yeah say i think everybody breathing would say it <laughs> well you know what's funny though my generation has jay leno was eight years old he was funnier than dan why do i come on this show it's always already trashing me it's like crazy i'm, I'm trashing larry the cable guy not yeah, you but, a good, but see he's <laughs> it happens to be like he's a good friend of mine like i've been with well, like I'm at your then, house. Don't so. worry, but then you're exonerated. Yeah, I have to be. Right? John sounds like he's afraid he's going to lose a job. But can I tell you something? That's one of the things that's the hardest thing to do this podcast with John is that so many people are saying stuff about your friends. Yeah. Like, I don't even know how you deal with it. Like, yeah. you stick up because you got to well, let you people have their with opinions. He doesn't judge anybody. No, it's just like, why would I? See, I'm not in the. But we all judge. Okay, Tammy, but a lot of comics won't judge another comic. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't behoove anybody to do that. Behoove? Yes, Artie. <laughs> yes. It doesn't help anybody to do that, and it doesn't, it doesn't help anybody. Justin, did he just use that word properly? 
I, th- I think so. I yeah, think yeah, Artie. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not a smart. Yeah, well, why don't you fucking Google it, fucking high school dropout? Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my God, my guy graduated in August. <laughs> I actually graduated in August. Behooved. Wait, wait. He's a bit of a snob. Sorry, yeah. where, where did you, you, where'd you go to NYU? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you actually graduate high school, Arnie? Uh, I, in, in August of 1985, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, I didn't know you graduated. I always thought you were a dropout. No, I graduated in 85 of August. I had to go to summer school. Thanks for bringing that up. It's very <laughs> <You never> painful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for judging me. I read it in the book. <laughs> I don't judge you as a comic. I think you're funny. Well, you're judging me now as a person. <laughs> you mean that's already <laughs> 8 billion jokes he just made about no. me? Now suddenly you're getting sensitive? That's very hurt. Get the fuck out of here. That's very <laughs> what happened on the post. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that laugh. Stage four. Artie, uh... Artie, you and I went on the road. We've had the best times in our lives. Right. Well, that's your I mean... perspective. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm kidding. I'm fucking around. You can't take a joke now. I'm fucking around. We had a blast. I can't take a joke. We did. We had a blast. <laughs> and then uh, that ended. <laughs> and then you got mad at me for ending it. I never got mad at you. And you were a little bitter. I never a little bitter. I never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got some Leno in you. I got to tell you, I never a little bitter. Every bad thing he says, he says is Jay Leno. Isn't that well, funny that that's who's his funnier? Out? Who's funnier, Larry the Cable Guy? I think they're both funny. Okay. I'll, I will tell you well, this. I think Jay would be hurt that you can't say that. I mean, you know, Jay gave you a job. No, Jay, Jay would, ex- Jay's advice would be say exactly what I'm saying. For instance. Be phony. No, it's not being phony. It's not it being is. phony. I think you have a definite opinion on who's funnier. And you won't say it. No, I think they're both funny. I really honestly do. I, I, I honestly think they're both funny. I mean, I think it's insane that anybody would say Jay Leno's not as fun, not funnier than Flyer the Cable Guy. I just think, well, who's funnier, Howard or Jay Leno, Arnie? Who's funnier? Yeah. What do you, what do you mean funny? Explain funny. Like who's, as a, who, that's, they're two totally different Why things. suddenly or do I have but to fucking explain that? that? I mean, no, I'm just It's saying, a much Howard's closer what, race than Flyer yeah. the Cable Guy. I think Howard's way funnier. All right, all right, so who's funnier? I think Howard's way funnier. I, I think, I think as sure. someone who's responsible for more laughs, uh, Howard, absolutely. Oh, my God. Right. I laughed way harder at Howard Stern. And he's that's responsible it. for five hours. Hours a day for like thirty years of you know, not forty two minutes. Well, of, I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't know. I don't. Yes, I understand I, you. <laughs> no, and look, if you ask me who's funny, a fucking Larry the Cable Guy and Melrose Larry Green, I think I would have an opinion. But. Well, in my opinion, there's a, as big a gap. <laughs> <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy is an embarrassing. Hack. He's, a, he's an awful stain on comedy. Yeah, but I would not uh, say that. Like, like honestly, I, I, if, but, like but as a comic, as a comic, I'm ashamed to even say he's a comedian. Really? That's an opinion. Already. That's a so- He's a disgusting. Right? He, he tells Russ? old jokes. He puts on a flannel and told old jokes. No, he, no And retards no. in this country no, laughter. No, 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 no. Dan, do you agree with this? No. Dan, be honest. I, I've i never laughed at Larry the Cable Guy. But there's I don't a million get it. people. Nobody Dan knows. just people wants to get paid. No, it's, it's, it's how could you even put him in the same fucking league? Wow, there you go. Jay Leno Whoa. is like, oh, you know, the cage. fucking Zeus compared to Larry the fucking Cable Guy. <laughs> it's, a, it's very, you know, I know you got a very tumultuous relationship with Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would uh, behoove you to apologize. Yeah, yeah. See, every it's time fair. I come on your show, you just attack me. I don't, I'm so, not. I'm attacking Larry the Cable Guy. I'm waiting for the joke no. to come because how could you even put them in the same oh, right. arena? That's okay. Don't worry about it. But Let's it's move. different, don't you no, think? No, I, I don't, you know, they all have their audiences. They all do well, and do they all make people laugh. What? what I'm going to sit here and say who's funnier to me. No. Well, yeah, because I asked you the question. Who's funnier? Yeah, I don't. Well, I don't. I don't know. I don't know who. I. I, I would. I would say they're both funny. <laughs> okay. I think. You well, could, let's leave you it. You could say though that in your head that you do have an opinion, but you're going to take the high road and not pick anyone. Right. Is that right. fair? Exactly. No, it's not even. Come that. on. Jim. No, it's not even. I tell you, I just no, think When you get nervous, you do Leno. Yeah, it is funny, John. Well, I don't stutter when I do a character. <laughs> well, now, what is his fr- catchphrase, Larry the Cable Guy? Get her done. Get her done. Get now, her done. Do you, do you find that funny? When he says get her done, do you laugh? <laughs> I, he got missile What the fuck on. is your catchphrase? Time to eat. I don't have a catchphrase because I'm not a hack. <laughs> Nuts. Because I'm thing not is, an embarrassing, you, awful hack. If you lo- if you knew him, you would like him because he. Yeah, I don't like him a lot. I don't want to meet him. Yeah, but you would like <laughs> him, Artie. I, I, well, that's he'd hate me. No, he wouldn't. No, well, because he, he you. did that as a joke too. He, he was shot he, himself. He'd hate you after this fucking podcast. Well, we don't have a relationship. I'm I'm being honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can now, say do, that. People when, say when that he, about when me he tells a joke, John, and it's kind of funny, and then he hammers it home with "Get her done." 
do you find that you so that's funnier? Like, does it make no, it way I, funnier? No, I don't personally. What's your favorite joke of Larry the Cable Guys? Oh, like I'm gonna start remembering. <laughs> What's every your joke. favorite joke of Larry? Now the Cable I'm gonna guys? start remembering jokes already. What am I a fucking? Well, it, just we could Google like old video. jokes and find a million of them. No, he, I think he has a lot of funny jokes. Well, good, let's hear one. I, I don't. I think Jay does too. I can't tell you one of those either. Do you you know can't that? remember his jokes. Uh, you say they're no, funny. Uh, all right. Well, fucking. You know, what's your favorite joke from uh, Billy Crystal? Billy Crystal is uh, is Muhammad Ali. No, but... tell me a joke. Uh, well, 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 I didn't say Billy. Well, I didn't say Billy well, Crystal. Well, was, fucking I didn't say Billy Crystal was funny. <laughs> what are you talking about? You just pulled the name out of it. I didn't say. Billy you don't Crystal. think Billy Crystal's funny? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> I have four friends in show business, and an every okay, Larry single... the Cable Guy jokes. We have them right here, wait, Justin Google. In every <laughs> single episode wait, 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 of let's this read show, I have, I have lost a friend. I have. <laughs> like an ex, you ready? I have four you ready? show business friends. John please. has ruined every. <laughs> Tammy, <single> Tammy, <laughs> Tammy, please. please, please. <laughs> it, you, no one will know you're oh my here. God. Okay, here's Larry the Cable Guy jokes. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Get ready. I was reading the paper the other day because my neighbor got up late. You need to get her done at the end. Get her done. <laughs> Shut up, Justin. <laughs> I had a girl put on crotchless britches for my birthday one time. I come home. She was like, want some of this right here? I go, no. Look what it did to your under britches over there. I wrote that for her. Get her done. <laughs> did you? No. Uh -huh. I'll take responsibility. I'm on that diet where you eat vegetables and drink wine. That's a good diet. I lost 10 pounds on my driver's license. Get her done. <laughs> Wow. Ever ever drive down the highway? <laughs> ever drive down the highway and a policeman gets up behind you? Then everybody goes two behind, two behind him. He's like the interstate pace car. I assume he gets a layup there. Then he gets off the exits and we're back to green flag racing. I don't even know. That's not even English. One year my going through this. I don't know why. Well, we, let me know when your favorite joke comes up. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't matter. He's a funny guy. He's been one, on Tonight Show a bunch of times. One year, my dad bought my mom a mood ring. Them things work pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Artie, really? I assume that's the character. But yeah, but really, when she I mean, was in a good mood, it was Rosalie, blue. Are you when she was in a bad mood, it made a red mark upside my tat. <laughs> get her done. <laughs> of course, get her done. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to airplane attendants being cute? That's a good fucking question. What the hell happened to that? Them girls were so <laughs> <laughs> them girls were so ugly they would make Ray Charles flinch. Ray Charles was a blind guy. A uh, blind. Blind. Uh, I think I think blind was the right get her fucking thing. Get her done. I don't think right about now. I don't, I don't think we really had to know that he was black. I think that. right about now everyone's wishing wishing they were deaf. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> this is a song I wrote about my girlfriend. She cheated on me with another man. It's called "I Can't Get Over You Till You Get Out From Under Him." Get her done. I don't think I'm doing the get her done right. I don't think you're doing him justice. I don't know where fucking Justin. Well, no, I mean I'm reading the jokes. No, I've heard a lot better than that. Well, these are the ones on the internet that come out. Oh, now that's one Justin decided to pull. It's probably like Justin. What'd you Google? I Google Larry the Cable Guy jokes. They could have been. Yeah. 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 Let's right. Google. Thanks, pal. Now let's Google Jay Leno jokes. This is the last time I let you drive yeah. me home and pay for parking. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, this last time you're the kid in the neighborhood who wins the drive John around. <laughs> What does it matter? It Artie? doesn't matter. You're right. Like if if you read your, you're not jokes, upset to the guy of the, who wrote those read, jokes has a fucking basketball court in his house. If you read some of your <laughs> jokes, you think it, it like we're all gonna guffaw? No, no. And that's I mean, point. I mean, so you're reading a joke. I mean, it, it's not the same as someone delivering it. Well, I mean, I saw, if they're good enough, I think he tells jokes that should be good enough on paper. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Stop the presses. I think you should. I think you should go with the Canoga Park joke. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, that's why. You know, you just you just love to trash. No, I comics. don't. Yes, you do. You think I love this? <laughs> no, I don't love it. No, I think you're pissed because the I'm pizza just got here you. and you want to eat. <laughs> See, that's good on paper. I know. <laughs> so now, Whatever. what else? What else besides the Whatever. podcast? You got? You still writing the book after you made up with Howard? Because there were questionable things in the book. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you writing the book? Yes, I am. Okay. But the book has shit about Howard in it. Not necessarily so bad that he should be mad about it. Well, I mean, that's the whole point of the book, right? Is that there are jokes about No, Howard. it's about a fucking stuttery becoming the announcer on The Tonight Show. It's a motivational book. That is, I'm telling you, that is impressive. I always told you that. Yeah, and it's a, and it's a comedy romp through my life, and I have plenty a of comedy stories. comedy romp? 
Who wrote it? Mel Brooks. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you tried to kill yourself and fucking failed and fucking drank bleach. What is, what is that about? <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 How do you? You, you know. You, you know. Wait, yeah, that, that was warranted. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was because you know what? Already, like I made fun of your joke, and you you made fun of me trying to kill me. Yeah, well, well, what the fuck? You, you, you seem to be okay with just trashing people I'm on a regular basis, you, but yet I, you can't take it when it comes the other way. I'm and taking I've, it right now. No, I've seen you get so angry when somebody says something bad about I'm you. I should have came here. No, by myself. I've seen <laughs> that happen. I'm much better if I'd have been here. I've by seen myself. that happen. I'm like that's why I I gotta. So let's bad. move on from this ugliness. <laughs> No, because I always let me get over it. Let's move no, on. I I always treat you like I can't make I can't make too many jokes about you because well, I know you clearly you put on the kit gloves. No, I do, I do <laughs> with the suicide joke. <laughs> yeah. the that wasn't even a joke. The only reason why he got saved is because his mom was bringing food over for him. John, <laughs> Jesus, it's not even funny. Oh yeah, <laughs> you should have said it in a Jay Leno voice. Then it would have been yeah, funny. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking out you. The reason uh, he lived with it, he wanted to take a palm of the <laughs> Let's call cool, let's call cool all the people that were at your gig the other night. <laughs> let's call cool all the people what? Let's call cool all the people that were at your gig the other night. I have their names oh. right here. <laughs> yeah, I know. You yes, fucking somebody, pull those up. Oh, you're upset about that, Johnny, after the suicide? No, I How many I'm people were at the big show the other night? At the at the stress I already told you already. What are you gonna like? Well, not button? on the air. Not on the air. Oh, oh, oh interesting. Okay. There were, uh it was a Wednesday night, it was a rainy night. And it was me, Jim Florentine, who I promoted, right. Modi, as you know, right. Reverend Bob Levy. Right. And no, it was only like 40, 50 people. So what? Uh, okay, fine. You know, so, so is your goal to say that, uh, yes, Artie, you, are, you sell out everywhere. No, I don't. God bless you. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't sell out everywhere. Do you think I have a driver? I don't have a driver. <laughs> 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 Let's move on from this. This was ugly. <laughs> I didn't start it. I didn't. I didn't start anything either. I was just bringing up. You got upset about Larry the Cable Guy. Like I was attacking you. I asked you. No, but question. I like Dan Whitney. Tammy, yeah, who's I that? Do. I tried to step. That's Larry the Cable Guy. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm he's sorry. a nice okay, guy. I mean, he's a he's a sweet You're guy. So I stupid. never met don't the guy. Don't go back in. What is wrong? With you? I never no, met the guy. There's nothing wrong with me. I, I, I just don't told go him. back in. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, I just no. I'll, I'll I'll be honest. I like the guy. Why would I fucking oh. Like I liked Russ until he trashed me under. No, <laughs> under I didn't. Did he trash? Never Wait, trashed so you. what happened? Because that's a, you guys started immediately when you walked in, and he said, "I can't believe you trashed me." What happened? Right. I think John thought that I trashed him, but I, don't, I, I barely remembered what what I well, said. Of course, you talk about the thing on my show. Yeah. yeah, no, we never trashed you. John. Oh no. bullshit, Artie! And you know what? Well, what did I say? No, here's the fucking thing, yeah. and it, and it yeah. actually does fucking irritate me. Why are we even? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! It's fine. I don't give a shit because you know, and I and I called you. You know, yeah. Jay Leno has always this is this is like you know Jay's always good at this and like who's better at him or? or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your fucking giggles, fat man? I'm sorry. Go ahead. So what happened was fucking. Uh, <laughs> Dan, let's go. <laughs> no, Jay has always said like. If another comic says something. After Larry the Cable Guy gives you advice, does he say get her done? <laughs> Life advice? <laughs> you know. All go, right. ahead, go right ahead. So, uh, you know, Jay's thing is that whenever, like, somebody says something disparaging about him, instead right. of fucking let it simmer, Jay always just calls him and says, you know, hey, you know, did I do something to piss you off? What that I explains think? the 14-year Howard view. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, who, who should have he should have picked up the phone there? Don't you think? Well, I think I've already told you on numerous podcasts that Jay offered to call. Him. Oh, okay. And I said no. It should come from me. And I think anybody, you know, I think even Russ would agree that you know I'm the one leaving. Why would I have Jay call and so say, Jay's Jay's thing is a good one. Like if someone if another comic says you suck, you should immediately call them. I think if it's unwarranted, then I think it's okay to do. And and so when, you've got about like eight, a, a lot of phone calls. <laughs> no, I didn't get any phone calls. Hey, but so you have phone calls to make. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're gonna have a few after this fucking show. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What does that mean? I hope you meet Larry the Cable Guy one day. Go, I hey, I love you. I can't wait. I need an addition on my house. 
Oh, a cable guy's gonna my, my, my point he's is, gonna make an addition on your house. My point is, Jay Jay Leno didn't have to change his name to a gimmick to be funny. Well, you know. Uh, so uh, <laughs> the reason why Larry the Cable Guy is Larry the Cable Guy because he used to call into a radio show as that as Will a you character. stop talking about it? He gave it up. You first of all, first of all, first of all I, know the, I know the story when American Masters did a Larry the Cable Guy <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, documentary whatever. Uh, whatever. after Scorsese. Yeah. <laughs> it has the whole story about how he became Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure, American Bass. I'm sure they have to Richard Pryor. I'm sure they're doing yours next. The, the guy drank bleach. <laughs> you talking about the liar, the cable guy drink bleach? I'm about no, you did. Do you have any of that bleach oh. left over? Oh, because I, I would yeah. like some. Anyway, uh, so Joe says that you know uh, to you know you've, if somebody says something, you like call them. You right. know, you just call them or somebody. You know, so so what happened there? Is there, is there a point to this? You called me. Well, there were, yeah, yes, there is a point to it, Go actually, ahead. Artie. You know, and uh, so Russ was on your show, and no. you and Casey felt free to be mad that on some shows I was making more money in the beginning, which is such a hypocrisy because you asked me to go do a show, and I said it was already booked. How is that but- hypocrisy? Well, I'll tell you why. Because you asked me to do, you said, I don't care about the money. I just want to do it. And then you and Russ and everybody else was like saying, oh, John doesn't, like KC is like, John doesn't pay anybody. And there's a, I mean, okay. You know, I gave fucking DePaulo 2500 for a weekend, which, by the way, is pretty good. He, he At that time, he wasn't making that. I mean, he would make that in a week. Why are you trash Nick now? I'm yeah. not trashing Nick. I love well, Nick. Well, I think he's one of the nice funniest guys. Well, I say. No, I'm just saying that which, I... By the way, he wasn't making that. I mean, you know. I'm saying I didn't... Sh- he's no Larry the Cable guy. <laughs> I... I'm saying who's funnier, Nick DePaul or Larry the Cable? Oh, now he's got. No, it. I'm saying I didn't who's short funny? anybody. <laughs> who's funny? I didn't short anybody, and then Russ. What did I say? Exactly? He joined in and goes, yeah. "Yeah, he just went up and did like five minutes, and that was it." Did he I told the that? truth. Okay, so, so what's wrong with that? Whatever, and he said some other stuff. So I said, you know, he was joining in on the fucking bashing of me. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. Artie, do you remember it? I remember it. So I called, I called Russ and just said, "Hey, I don't know why you would do that and whatever. I was always good to you, right?" I, mean, I bet if we played it again, I. I don't think I said anything. I don't bad think you said it. Well, whatever. No. It doesn't matter. But we no. made up, and no. that was it. You were very you know, civil. Like you on just. The phone? I mean, that's it. Right. No. I was very civil, but no. but but why? Like why? But like, it have does this matter, thing? though, don't you think? Well, I, why should he apologize for something that you if he didn't say it? He care. did say it. What but I he just exactly? said that he didn't. But say it wasn't disparaging. It, wasn't it was disparaging. How? Why? I bet if we pull it up, because he was going the same. You know, it doesn't. I matter. bet. I bet if you pull it up, it was the same thing that you always say. Well, yeah. I mean, the fucking guy didn't do shit. And pull wasn't. up Russman Eve on. Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> on uh, Artie Lang's show. See, every time I do this show, it's a fucking bashing I of bet. me. Well, thank I'd you for to, bringing me. I, I, don't you want to hear what was said? Or I don't think he said anything wrong. But if of I would course, cop to it, I would cop to it if, if if it comes up. Well, because we weren't man, we're not your enemy. We wouldn't say anything wrong about you. You're not my enemy. Have you heard the last thirty minutes? Of the well, we're show. goofing around. <laughs> we're goofing around. Insults. Is the I, I insulted Larry the, the Cable Guy, and you had the bleach joke. <laughs> 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 right, is that a new routine? The bleach bit. No, no, no. Is your Santa they're very, ho- ver- they're very funny. Is your Santa the ho 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 gives it a new name? Is that your new bit? The, what are you talking about? What? Oh yeah, uh, everyone's saying there should be a black Santa. Stop the presses! Stop the presses! <laughs> but no one's gonna believe a black guy is gonna come into your house and actually leave something. Although it gives the term ho 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 a new fucking reason. You remember that fucking? No, because I've, I've written seven hours of material since then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Was that a great joke? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you don't remember that bit. This is taking. Up is that a lar- yeah. See if it's on my. See if it's on my jokes. Google my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, Artie. I don't. I don't particularly think it's. It's cool to trash other comics. You I, made I just, that point. Yeah. I just don't think it's cool. I'm not trashing a comedian. I'm trashing Larry the Cable. But guy. wait a second. Wait a second. Let's go back. Why? So what do you think that Russ said? You know said? what, Tammy? I can't remember don't now. Don't get an we, attitude with me. It, unless you don't want. <laughs> no, no, no. But I can't remember exactly what it was. But it was something that. When I was watching, I it, just wondered. Yeah. No, he was just he was just uh, you know also you know uh, piling on with it. I don't know exactly. It's what the it was. tone, baby. He sounded not, sarcastic. I, I'll do whatever you want. Is that it? No, don't worry about okay. it. No, no, it doesn't matter. We made up anyway. Right. You know, whatever. Not, I felt it's hurt. Not, it's not the what the fuck is wrong with that? I mean, you know, I mean, I paid you well, didn't I, Russ? Yeah. 
I, I mean, don't remember. But, but wait, it's not. <laughs> 2,500. Yeah, but was see, it? that's oh, not okay. nice nice. Because it's not nice. That's the one thing, John, with comedy. You don't just yell out people's numbers. That is because true. Because it upsets people. Because people at home listening maybe make that, don't make that. Just because it sounds like a lot of money. Maybe it's not. Maybe well, Tammy, then, t- triple that. But then, Tammy, then you don't know how much everybody talked on the air on the Stern Show and said I didn't pay anybody. So there's a reason I think for I it. remember. No, I understand that. But to just yell it out like now. Was, it, was, it was 15 years ago. I think, I think, well, then why the hell are we talking about it now? I think, that wasn't because we're pitch. talking about it is just about 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 what Jay had said. Just call somebody and you know and just and just just end it there. That's all. Mm-hmm. I don't. Think, yeah. I'm going to well, call whatever. you after the show. I don't. I think that Casey was mentioning other gigs. I don't right. think that gig was in question. First but, of all, anyway, <laughs> whatever. whatever. It's a difference. It's gone. Now, yeah. So. And by I the way, I remember Casey being there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, he was talking about some oh, right. gig somewhere. I don't know. Mm. But was that that wasn't a bit on the idiot to pay people? No one ever said that. Yes, that's what that, that was. The, that was the I theme. Certainly, I, never I never did. did. I never said that. That was I, the I'll theme right now. of it. No, I certainly never right said that. No, you didn't say that. Russ. I never said that it either. Was all, but that was whole. That that was Casey's lament. We oh. made up since then. Oh, okay. But I mean, you, you know, like Casey was, you know, uh, you, yeah. you know, whatever, you know. That's an awkward situation because Casey was a you know middle. In know, fact, I would bet a hundred now on a table. I'll put it down. Twenty five hundred. <laughs> I'll bet twenty five. I'll bet you know your bucks. fee. <laughs> that if you pull that up, I bet you would be like, oh, Ross really didn't say anything that bad. I'll bet a hundred. Now you could keep the hundred if if I did say. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. After. No, the, wait. Let's after, be right, clear about on. this. What do you think? Because I'm a little. What I do you think he said? I don't remember anymore. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> but you thought he said something disparaging. I'll put the hundred up right now. Yeah. No, I. I, I, I mean, he was. Yeah. He said John. Uh, okay. He, he Russ, just showed up, did three minutes, and fucking didn't do anything else. All right. So okay. So it was something like. But John knows from being on the stage. Sometimes it's not what you say. It's like the tone. It's like sarcastic. It sounds. Yeah, sarcastic. it was just like a piling on thing when Casey was. Well, let me know. I'll bet the money. Casey trashed you. Well, he's not like that either. Well, no, we've made up since then as well. Okay. How I'd is be- he doing, by the way? I'd like him to come on here. I got to reach out for Case. Is, is he is he doing okay? No. Uh, no. I mean, he's not as he's not doing that well. Uh, he's a great he's a great still? kid. Same girl. Uh, he, yeah, he still has a girlfriend. He does well with the ladies, I'll tell you that. Well, fucking guy's an Adonis. Absolutely. You know? Yep. He would, uh, you know, do nine minutes on a gig and have a threesome, <laughs> and I'd be in my room after doing an hour and a half and watching the, <laughs> watching biography on a and Oh, stop lying. Drinking bleach. <laughs> Party. That was my favorite drink back then. <laughs> yeah, I, I do want to so ask So that you is good it. advice, though, that, uh, I do want to ask you about that. Art, Artie, please, could I ask you a couple questions? I mean, this is a simulcast We're out for of both time. of us. No, no, no. <laughs> Please, no. Can I'm, I end my podcast now? We can start yours with that. No, no, well, well, uh, how long, uh, well, are, we how long are we talking? 45 minutes. All right, all right. Let me just uh, ask you a question. Feels like no. days. All right, seriously. And I've been interested in this. Because you know I've been... Did, uh, how many times have I called you and said, is everything okay? And, you know, you all right? And I've heard this. I've heard that. The same amount of times I didn't answer back. <laughs> See, you know, you just got to make a joke. <laughs> Too bad you didn't have a cat. That you could teach bl- how to send an email. That was no, a but you sandbag don't... <laughs> blindside. No, but you, you don't... came in nice and just... But you I'm... don't understand something, Russ. I've, I've always loved Artie. No. I've always considered Artie a good friend. I think Dan would agree. And nothing from Dan. <laughs> Dan Whitney or Dan Fuller? <laughs> <laughs> Dan Fuller. No, you, know you, that Art, you know that Artie's a good friend. Get her done. Artie doesn't behoove you to make fun of Dan Whitney. <laughs> it behooves you... <laughs> Them girls there got no panties on. <laughs> no, his thing, his thing, Artie. I, 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 I called you when I heard that you know before the bleach and everything, and I said, Artie, are you all right? I've heard that you're like doing a shit, and you were like, I'm fine, John. Thanks for calling. We had a long, beautiful conversation. Interestingly enough, which is so weird, it was I was on the way. I was actually in the parking lot to play golf with Bruce Jenner at Sherwood. Wow, what does that have to do with this? After, no, it was it just. Was, it was just. This was. It was after. This was about, what a name drop that was. <laughs> well, it was pre Caitlyn. But anyway, well, what does that have to do with me? It doesn't. It was just weird. That's where we you were with the after, famous guy. But that's where I was. And, by the uh, way, I was with somebody famous. All right, whatever. <laughs> and uh, you were dying, and by the way, no. I was golfing with a famous guy. <laughs> no, no. And I talked to you. Calabasas. <laughs> and, and I talked to you, and I was very concerned because, I, as you know, I was one of the only people that, you know, heard about your fake death when uh, Captain Jenks called in. Everybody heard about it. Well, okay, but I'm the one who like called the Hard Rock and got Jason Kaplan to go up and knock on your door because I thought it was true. Because I was, I when the producer at the Tonight Show heard 
just so yeah, tell me. I wasn't saying anything. All right. The producer. <laughs> no, no, no. Because well, 1942. The producer at the Tonight Show, uh, you know, they pulled me aside. Like I was, I was busy doing a shoot for the Tonight Show, and they. Mm-hmm. And you thought you were getting fired. And they pulled me aside. You should have told him to listen. You see, instead of me, you, you singled me out. You should have. No, him I'm sorry, Tim. Well, anyway, so they brought me down, and the producer <laughs> said, "John, I have some sad news for you. You know, Artie Lang is dead." Oh wow! And I cried. Wow! And I screamed, mm. and then I called the Hot Rock, and it was just like, you know, Jason, you know, what's going on? With Artie? And he was like, "Well, what are you talking about?" And I'm like, "I just been told that he's dead." And, you know, I had them go up because I was crying. I love oh, yeah, Artie. Yeah, yeah. says, well, when a friend dies, you should really call him. No, no, no. <laughs> See, this is why it... No, it stay, stay the course, John. You hold steady. But this hold is why steady. it hurts me when he yeah. goes to me. because oh, when a friend dies, John. Oh, he's, he's a comedian. comedian. No, I know. But anyway... Yeah. So I, then, I thought Jimmy Walker was done. <laughs> no, man. When Jimmy Walker died. Wait, don't, don't say know. anything about Jimmy. Jimmy's my friend, too. No, I don't mind. <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> Hold steady with the story, John. So then, you know, so then I found out it was all hoax that Captain Jenks did. So. Hey, Art is dead. Get her done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Larry the Cable Guy. Did you hear your friend's dead? <laughs> so Reminds then, me of a joke I do about dead friends. <laughs> so then the next I time. So I, boy, them friends are dead. So then, <laughs> Those are my very good friends. He and his wife. How dead are they, Artie? <laughs> boy, them, he drank them bleachers. <laughs> So anyway, so, too big for my britches. So then the next time I had heard that Artie was having problems. Did you, did you hear that sound, distant sound? That's people uh, canceling the subscription. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway, well, I'm sorry for all the five people. But anyway, so then I wow. called Artie after he was on the Stern Show, and I, and I heard he was taking some drugs. And I, and then I called Artie, and, and you and I had a lovely conversation, yeah. and we talked. <laughs> And uh, I didn't expect. And I said, you know, Artie, please, you know, you're a great guy. You're one of the funniest guys I know. Please don't. Besides Larry the Cable. Though. Don't do that. Who's you funnier, know? me or Larry the Cable? You are, Artie. <laughs> so then we talked. and That's bullshit. I don't trust that tone. <laughs> no. And then, and then, and then, three months later, probably because of the conversation. <laughs> you know, Ar- then I hear he tried to stab That's himself right. nine times and fucking drank bleach to kill himself. And I was just like, oh man, I was so upset in my head. And yeah. I, you know, because I love Artie and I was like, this guy's too talented to, you know, start killing himself. And, you know, you you have your to own. start killing to start. Well, that's what you did. You started. You didn't finish, all right? So, but After this, I was, I've got to finish. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I was, I was very upset, and I was worried about him. Yeah. But you know what? You can go. And then you, you got back to Bruce Jenner and golfing. Uh-huh. See, how did you get through that? Just whatever. You know. Hey, Bruce, are you gonna? But you know, he's coming, chick. <laughs> it looks like you're losing. W scoring on points. No, but here's the thing, Russ. Hey, Bruce, Bruce you, you should become a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bruce, my friend's killing himself. <laughs> if, if I were you, I, I'd get a p- pussy. <laughs> no, but here's the thing, Russ, because I, really hey, hey. I really do love Artie, hey, hey, and Bruce, I really hey, care about Bruce, him. I love Artie. <laughs> I'm very upset. Are you paying for this round? <laughs> Hey, Bruce. But I was very upset, you know, you know and I, I didn't want to. The only thing that would cheer me up is you becoming a chick. <laughs> <laughs> you should get a cunt. <laughs> but no, I, so I was very I'm concerned so about Artie. I'm so upset Artie. about my friend Artie. <laughs> and then after. You, I can barely let you pay for a round of golf. <laughs> after you try. And by the way, Artie, let me ask you a question. 20, while you were stabbing yourself. Can Brody drive me around? <laughs> Artie, Artie, while you were stabbing. Did it hurt? Or, or you didn't care at that Can point. Can Brody drive me to <laughs> See, he doesn't want to answer a question. Does Brody drink? <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you were stabbing yourself, did it hurt? I don't know. You're the Puerto Rican. You told me. <laughs> No, no, I'm just, I'm just curious. Like, uh, the, the, oh you know, you kept going. Like, what, what? You oh. just, you just with that. I couldn't get her done. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you don't want to talk candidly, but I'm just, I'm just. I'm, well, that's I'm, a great question. I'll think about it. Uh, all right, hey, so uh, you just want to avoid the whole thing. Hey, but Bruce, I, my friend stabbing himself. <laughs> can you, can you get a pussy and buy me a car? <laughs> <laughs> can you tell everybody I write on the Tonight Show? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, hey, Bruce, I, did you hear that I'm a writer? <laughs> no, I love it. I love that that all you can get out of this while I'm talking about your fucking hey, potential Bruce, death. Bruce, is... who's funnier, Larry the Cable Guy <laughs> or Scott Disick? <laughs> 
He knows hey, Scott, hey, he, Bruce. He knows Scott Disick, but not Dan Whitney. Hey, Bruce, can you tell the Kardashian kid to get me free socks? <laughs> free socks. Where's hey, that Bruce, fucking come from? Can you get a pair of tits? <laughs> 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 Do you have a connection to get pussy? But either way, Artie, I mean, you know. Hey, it, Bruce, I'm getting a divorce. So Did you, you hear that? Uh, on entertain, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to talk tonight. about a serious issue, but it's fine. Bruce, did you hear? I, I, I got an in-ground pool on entertainment tonight. Artie, let me ask you just one question. Are you okay now? Is, are you ever going to do that again? <laughs> after this? After no, seriously. Well, how can he answer that? I'll probably do what, it again. What do you mean? Why? What is bothering you? I don't know. No, really, no. Yes, you do know. The fact, that I, the fact that I didn't come, come through with my promise to you to give you gigs. <laughs> no, Artie, just be honest. <laughs> it, this is not I all a we joke. Were, I thought we were giving gigs. After that, $2,500. No, just hey, honestly. Like, hey, why? Bruce, I can barely golf. My friend's stabbing himself. <laughs> I can barely go through with this. <laughs> this is why I knew we shouldn't have came to fucking Artie's. Uh, this is the old Billy Burp. Because he won't answer a I question. I should have came by myself. That's the thing. I was supposed to before. No. Yeah, well, no, thank you. So, uh, <laughs> so here's the thing, Arnie. So now, when, are you okay to not do it again? It's all a mess. Probably not. No. Why? Someone like me always does. The statistics show I will do it again. What, but what is bothering you? Is it still your father on the roof? Uh, thank you, John, <laughs> for bringing that. It up. doesn't mean John anything. The he's trying to change the subject because he's getting killed. No, I don't give a shit about getting killed. Is that what it is? It's another no hitter. Is that what it is? <laughs> Is is that, is is that what is making you miserable? I'll tell you, I think Artie's father's still bothering <laughs> Is that what is making you miserable? I'm asking you a question. Bruce, are you also a oh, cocksucker? He's not miserable. Look at him. I'm having fun. Is that, what is, make, is is that what is making you miserable? So is it still that? Is that a control? Of that? I don't, I mean, I don't even miserable. understand what you're saying. What I'm saying is what would cause you to do it again? What are you upset about? You're making a lot of money. You have a beautiful place. You have a lovely family. What is... What drives you to go there? I don't know. I don't. Uh, I, I don't like. Uh, I don't like the fact that uh, you know you're you're not doing well. No, Marty, just answer. Can you answer As seriously about one thing? I'm asking you a question. What drives you there? Well, apparently, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what drives you everywhere, Justin. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I know, Artie. I know, Justin, Artie. can you drive me there? Artie, I'm asking you as a... <laughs> Artie, I'm... I'm Justin, ask... I, I might stand by something. Can you drive me there? Artie, I'm asking you as a friend. What is it? Oh my. What is bothering you about it? <laughs> You're making no sense, John. Come what? on. No. What? I'm sorry I'm busting on you. I'm sorry I busted No, you. but what depresses you so much? You should, John. Yeah, I'm sorry I busted your chops. Okay. No, I'm asking you. I'm, it's not because you busted my chops. I care about you. What is it? You're, you know, you, John, I'm, I apologize for goofing on you. No, that's not what it's about. I apologize for making fun of Larry the Cable. That's not what it's about. I'm asking you. I don't you, know how close you were to Larry the Cable. That's not what it's about, Artie. I care about you. What is well, it? Well, you're not. The show's supposed to be funny. You're not being funny. Yeah, because I want to know. What is it? it? Because I want you to be funny. Be funny instead. Because this isn't a therapy session. All right. Well, I'm just. I'm, I just. Tell I, your joke. Look, I love you and I care about you, and do I you, hope that you don't try it again. You're upset. I goofed on you. No, I'm not. I, and I, I meant to ask you this from uh, before I even got here. Yeah. Well, I apologize for goofing on you. No, you don't have to. I don't care. You, you want me to goofing. cut out the goofing on Larry the Cable Guy? No. Is that going to cost you a job? In the next no. All right. So I guess you don't want to. Larry shits his pants. I guess you don't want to answer honestly. I'm just asking you an honest question. Larry the Cable Guy shits his pants. Darn stuttering John. I'm going to start stabbing myself. It's going to be me. Yeah. How long have we, we been talking? You. No. I'm just asking you an honest question, but you, but I guess you don't want to answer. I don't. I, I, I don't know I what don't, upsets you. I don't want. Nothing upsets me. <laughs> I mean, you're on Judd Apatow's show now, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're doing well. You've, mm -hmm. you, you know, you're usually successful. Like, what the hell do you need? I don't know. Uh, I apologize, John. Dan, why is he? I'm just asking a serious. Oh, question. I think we can all agree life is difficult, and uh, you know. Yeah, I know, but yeah. I never, I never took it to that level. Right. You know yeah, what I mean? But everybody's you, different. I just watched you drink about 15 beers and suck down a whole. Well, here we go with the exaggeration. Now, I had, well, how many? Beers? I had three yeah. beers since I got here. Right. Not, Maybe not, four. You, you, and you know, that's, not, like that's not even recent. Though, You're not John. being your That's not like song. it was last month. I mean, that was a while ago, and life has changed for him since then. And, all right. You know. I just look, Tammy. 
I don't get mad at me. No, but I'm I not is this you know. your is this your show or mine? Well, who hasn't thought about it's it? It's both of ours, and I know who Artie. Has, right. for, who hasn't? Listen, thought about suicide. okay. Here's the thing. He was with a girl who tried to kill herself last oh, week. Oh yeah, I don't even tell last. No, so no, he last night. Her up. But all I'm gonna say, so who, who hasn't happened? thought about it? Yeah. You haven't, you've never thought about it. I'm your just life? trying to say that what I want Artie to live. I want Artie to live. Were you with a girl who tried to kill herself? Yeah. What does she have vision? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just want we'll to take a break. Let's take. A I break. just want Artie to live. That's all, fact, Russ. I'm not fact, trying to be a dick no, here, no, dude. Fact. I know. This, I, that comes this is it. This is the place. motivation. Fruit Pilato doing God knows what in your extra bedroom, creeping out everybody. I'm a fucking fag. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just a charmer. Um. Oh. Don't go in that area. What are you doing over there, Falada? You look creepy. <laughs> look who it is. I'm a fucking fag. <laughs> look who it is. Look who it is. <laughs> hey, you missed a button. You uh, kinda... yeah, okay. No, you do care. Uh, ready? <laughs> no, but... <laughs> I'm out of here. You I'm look like you got in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was you know, in the middle of one. Mm -hmm. Dan, are we on? Yeah, yes. that's right. I know. So, you know, we got the Cavalier game on. Something I forgot about Tammy Pescatelli, too, is you're a huge, you're a Cleveland girl, and you're a huge uh, LeBron Cavaliers fan. Well, yes, I'm sorry, Dan, that I pulled the microphone so close and made all that noise. That's Don't right. worry about it. It happens all the time. So nice. Every yeah. two seconds. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, who knows what's going to happen with this. Uh, yeah, I mean, we know. I know, Artie, we're going to fight over this. I know you tell no, me what, all the time. What, what's this? It's two up, right? They're just up by two, but that changes. It's LeBron versus the entire the entire Warriors well, team. Love, oh. I think they thought Kevin Love was going to be his uh, his uh, Pippen, and he's not. No, I, I think they've tried over and over again. Yeah. He'll be gone up this year. He ain't going to stay there. Who, Love? Yeah, don't you think? He might. He's not fitting in. He's not fitting in. If LeBron, it depends if LeBron gives him a kibosh. It's like Michael in Chicago. If Jordan didn't like you, he pulled some people aside and you were gone. It was like uh, Tom Hagen. <laughs> I'm just kind of shocked, though, that like this... <laughs> I, I think that this coach, like they gave him coach of the year. I think that was a little bit of pre, you know. Well, that, that all depends on LeBron, premature. too. That, that's what you got to realize. Like, well, Michael, it's not his team. LeBron is coaching. No. For Le sure. <laughs> LeBron is doing everything. GM, everything. Pretty much. Now, here's the, here's the question. Hmm. Well, John, do you follow hoops at all? Uh, very, not really. Yeah. Not really. I'm not a big from basketball flavor fan. of love. But I, I, well, you were, you're a baseball guy. I know that. But baseball what do you think football. of the Yanks? How terrible. Well, they're almost 500. Uh, so they don't seem like the Yankees to me. I, I can't get a connection with this team. Are you a fan of A-Rod? No, I hate his guts. Well, I always have. But uh, they're not going to – they're just not exciting on any level. Can you me. say which teams or players you think are better? Or no? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? <laughs> oh, it's right like, back. It just, it just keeps on it's coming the world back. Of, world of comedy. World of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I can easily do that. They're all billionaires. Fuck them. Yeah. Well, I, I think the sooner they get you like A Rod, you, I think the sooner they get rid of him, the better. You know what, Artie? Anybody who puts on the Yankee uniform, I will, uh, I will root for. We are different there. I, I, John I, Melendez for mayor. <laughs> well, there's some people. <laughs> like Sorry, so that's a, that's, that's a truth, though. I'll I'll root for anybody that's well. I guess for my team. That's a good thing to. Be, I I should be like that, being that I root for them. But I, oh God, the worst players I've hated have been Yankees. A Rod, I really don't. Who trust did you him. hate? Who did A Rod, hate? I hate more than anybody. Hey, the Yankee who's ever played. Hate him. Uh, well, because he, tra you know what the problem with A Rod was already is that he like what? he he trashed Jeter and said, oh. Well, I, they had a feud. Yeah. I sell out seats. You don't. Yeah. And and, and you, you know, don't say that to Jeter. Yeah, and yet Derek is going to be in the Hall of Fame, probably you know in first round, of course. They both well, A Rod won't because of the Roy. Just put, there's. Uh -huh. Major guys who vote who already said no way to Clemens, no way to him. Like, major guys are not going to get in because of Roy's. Barry Bonds, uh, generations before they get in, if they get in. Do you think, you know, I've, I've had this discussion with people. Do you think Derek will be a unanimous? Yes. See, first ballot, you know, right? No, he'll be first ballot, but you think that every sports writer is going to. Well, I got, well, I got, you know, that's a good question because I'll tell you why. Hank Aaron wasn't. Who roots against? Who votes against Hank Aaron? <laughs> you look at his statistics. He almost won the triple crown for a career. No, I know, but I think that there are some sports writers that might be mad. That's what that I mean. Yeah, it, they they have a gripe. Know, yeah, you never that, know what the fuck it is. Well, look at Johnny Bench. I mean, come on. 
Well, well, he got it uh, rather quickly. No right? one was yeah, unanimous. How long? Yeah. No one's ever Nobody. been unanimous. Oh wow! Yeah. Poor Pete. Ty Rose. Cobb would have been, but he said nigger a lot. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't do well, that. You can't. <laughs> Can't do that and would be unanimous. You can't, I mean, you know, no as a matter of fact, they said that in the speech. Ty Cobb would be unanimous when he said nigger a lot. It was written in the paper. <laughs> I think I read that. They asked him, he thought Babe Ruth was black. He thought Babe Ruth was part black because he had big lips. Mm. That was his uh, That was his real theory. It's in the. <laughs> was it's Babe in the. Ruth? Babe, it's in the. People don't know what he is. Half pig. Think about it. No one's ever looked like <laughs> that guy. Face. I can't All right. Believe. No one's ever looked like Babe Ruth. Think <laughs> no, about I can't <laughs> figure out what that guy looks like. But the theory was he was one eighth black, and they asked Ty Cobb in some like All Star game if he would room with him. And he said, "I never betted down with a nigger before. I'm not going to start now." <laughs> oh, well, I'll uh, you know I'll tell you this already, and I you know I don't. All right, I, it, my memory could be a little off with this, but. I hung out with Mickey Rivers. Right. And wow. What do you think it could have been? What? Could it have been somebody else? Well, I don't think that's No, it was Mickey Rivers. Was it remember. Beetlejuice? No. <laughs> 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 what are you trying to say? All African Americans look like? <laughs> no, I'm saying all black guys look like. All right. Uh -huh. Anyway, he said uh, <laughs> that. <laughs> he's, all right, he said that Greg Nettles was the. <laughs> was what? <laughs> the biggest racist. Really? No, Greg Nettles had a, was, one of the best jokes. It's in, it's in Billy Martin's book. Is that the cage joke? It's unbelievable. Because that's what I was going to say. All yeah, right, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you want to tell it? Guys? No, you tell it. You'll, 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 you'll well, be. No, bored. you can tell it if you want. I'll no, tell yeah, again. I'll tell it. Uh, Russia. So uh, a guy on the Cleveland Indians. There you go, Cleveland. Daddy. Yeah, thank you. In the seventies, in the seventies, there was a black guy on in the Indians. His name was Cage, and he had a really, really big afro, <laughs> like a seventies <70s> afro. <laughs> and back then, they used to write their names on the back of the uniforms. And again, the guy's name was Wayne Cage. So they're in Cleveland, and Greg Nettles goes up to Billy Martin and says, points at Wayne Cage and says, hey, Skip, how come that guy has his address written on the back <laughs> of the shirt? And it said, Cage 12. <laughs> 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 and that's exactly the story Mickey told me. Hilarious. Did he really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mickey Rivers loved it. And Munson, too, supposedly. Then was it yeah, well, yeah, yeah, Munson was a problem because he wasn't happy. He didn't want Mickey to use his bats, but... Like <laughs> really? Yeah, because that, that's right. <laughs> yeah. No, but eventually he said, like, because I was like, I always heard that Thurman Munson was the big racist, well, and he goes, were, he goes, no, Greg Nettles. Well, <laughs> I mean, uh, Greg Nettles. Is that, was the well, that's your was, Mickey Rivers impression. <laughs> that's a little racist. That was great. <laughs> he said, <laughs> no, but it's not it's because I don't know. Have you ever talked to Mickey? Yeah. I've, I was you speaking. Thought, I was speaking. I don't know if he was. You thought I'm incoherent? He's just like you. It's very hard to understand. What you he's sound saying. like Mario Cuomo compared to him. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come up with Mario? Cuomo? Well, he's known as a good speaker. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Mickey Rivers. I, I, one of the fun. It was a rain delay, circa 1979. Frank Messer. I wish I could find this on YouTube. Frank Messer's interviewing Mickey Rivers. Messer was a, <laughs> an old like guy in the booth and announcer. Yeah, yeah. I, so Mickey Rivers has his jacket on. He agrees to do his interview during the rain delay, and this is exactly what happened. Frank Messer goes, Mick, uh, we're going to the All-Star break, and you guys are tied for first with Boston. What do you think is going to happen? Well, I said, I, say, I come back, I have Boston, I have the best socks, and I film with my <laughs> and I come back over second. <laughs> then there's a pause. Mick, you're hitting 321. <laughs> Do you think you could sustain a 300 average throughout the season? <laughs> well, I'll say, I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up. I'm going to hit him on a way. <laughs> Mick, you're leading the league in stolen bases. Do you think you could lead the league in stolen bases for a third year in a row? Well, I'll say this. I'll come back. I'll somebody pick up my bases. And the players on base. Pause. Mick, uh, we're almost out of time. What would you have to say to any young kids out there who want to maybe become a major leaguer like yourself? I'll say this. I'll back out. Let's have a kid. That's my second. <laughs> Thank you, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Frank Messer's Rain Delay Talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he called the rain delay talk. He, there wasn't one coherent sound, Mickey Rivers. No, I know. He, it was very hard to and understand. Frank the Messer completely ignored it. Well, it <laughs> Just didn't even try to like have a logical conversation because he knew it would sound ridiculous. Yeah. What do you ask him to say? But uh, yeah, Cage 12. That's a funny fucking joke, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I, well, that's what he told me. He you also know, said, uh, Greg Ellis is also responsible for this joke, supposedly. They got Louis Tiant, the Cuban guy, yeah. uh, off the boat from the Red Sox, and he pointed to Louis Tiant. He, he, they were getting on a plane and said, hey, Louis, you can't come on the plane. And it said, foreign objects not permitted. <laughs> 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 funny.
<laughs> but see, I never knew that Greg Nettles was that, you know, that he had that racist thing. That's not racist. He's a funny joke. What's the matter with that joke? He's not That's racist. Oh, the cage 12 one? <laughs> That's not racist. It's a joke. I think you could not be racist and tell that joke. I really do. <laughs> sure, I really you do. can. You it's just look great, for the joke. Great you look joke. for the joke. Like that, that Especially is, in the uh, 70s. The gorilla, right? the, the kid who fell in the gorilla enclosure. Oh, uh, let's I mean, uh, You can't tell me that didn't look like an R. Kelly sex video. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> God. I think he did pee on it. No. <laughs> but why is it right to shooting? They can't try food? They can't try to lure well, it? I you got to get it out quick. Right you away. Crush they that kid's head. I mean, at any moment, he could crush the kid's head. It was 400 pounds. Yeah, yeah. The kids. I don't think it showed that kind of aggression. <laughs> but, mm. Well, you know, look. I mean, it's a silverback gorilla. Those things can crush a coconut or a kid's head. It's just like that. Just like that. Yeah, that Anytime the kid, you know, yeah. kid wins. Yeah. I, but yeah. I thought it, when he touched that kid's shorts and turned him around, that was Funny. really, really awkward. Wasn't that weird? <laughs> it was. Like, you got to say to the mother, you, you better turn away because he might start <laughs> fucking your kid. <laughs> it, the image of a gorilla fucking your kid. Do you ever get I, over that, Justin? I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Does, does Larry the Cable guy have a joke about that? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'd say on a gorilla, you, if a gorilla's fucking your kid, you think it's an R. Kelly video, you might be a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> is that? No, redneck is Foxworthy. No, they... Foxworthy's got the uh, the red... He's got the you might be a redneck pit. Right. Well, that, yeah, that, but they were all on the blue collar tour right? together. So? No, I think they all have that kind of thing. They have a catchphrase. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it works, man. It's not working for uh, me. I can't oh, think me. of a catchphrase. Uh, so, Artie, how are things going with the HBO thing? Uh, is that cool? That's great. So, so when does this thing air? What air? The this thing, this podcast? About a few couple hours. No, the thing that you uh, did with Judd Apatow. Oh, I don't know. But they don't get, There's no release date yet. Oh, really? And what is it called? Crashing. And, and what is the premise of everything? Uh, it's about your career. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the premise I, 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 like honestly it's about a comic who's doing well and he drinks bleach <laughs> <laughs> no it, it, uh, it I don't know. hey Artie I, I hope you know I just care, care about, talking you. about it I don't want anything to happen to you that's all no, thank you uh, I, it's, like, it's a guy who plays a comedian it's honestly it's hard to explain really he's a young comic who uh, comes to New York and uh, with his wife uh, to try to be a comedian and it's based on a true story and the kid goes to the comedy cellar every night which is what he really did and he meets a lot of comics who we uh, is fa are fans of he's a fan of yeah. and uh, he, uh, he latches on to a couple of them and they, he crashes on their couches and they take him under his wing and uh, like be his mentor and he opens for them and shit like that uh so who, so who plays the judd apatow character judd apatow's the writer director he's not in it no no but who plays his who plays the guy that is everyone it's the, it's not based on judd apatow it's based on another kid of judd apatow oh is but, he's just producing a judd yeah but who plays the kid a guy named pete holmes oh uh, who was a, uh, yeah, a comic who, uh, do you know him, Tammy? I do. Very, Very nice guy. Very nice guy. And, uh, you know, it's, he really did this. He came to New York and came to the, suppose he met all of us. He met, uh, you know, the, the, you know, Russ and us and all these guys, uh, Tal and all these people we were all there. And he said, uh, he said Patrice O'Neill was rude to him, <laughs> uh -huh. which made sense. <laughs> uh, so then he really met him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, who else? Who else is? Oh, well, was, was was Patrice known for that? Patrice yeah. oh, was God. good to me, but the, there were a lot of people that he, you know. Well, I'm sure was, if, if this kid came and just came up and Patrice would go, you know, he'd go, "I'm a big fan." And he Patrice judged other go, comics, of course. Oh, yeah. did he? Yeah, he, he wouldn't like him. He was confident. <laughs> he was confident. When so, if someone was a terrible hack, he would he would say it. <laughs> like you think, thinking it, thinking yeah, yeah, we wouldn't thinking you might help out. the business. <laughs> you never saw Patrice perform ever? I don't tremendous. Like, like maybe at the comedy yeah. cellar once or twice. Top, Very top. unbelievably funny. Tippy top, unbelievably dynamic. Funny. Like literally, you yeah. couldn't. You, yeah, yeah. You didn't want to go on after him. Hall of Famer. So. It's uh, it's not like it's not like Larry the Cable Guy stuff. It's a little more. Uh, <laughs> Even you would actually make a decision <laughs> between who is better. You know, I just, I just, I'm not. He's no Bill Engvall. <laughs> 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 
I'll tell you something. What was Bill Engvall's catch? I'll tell you. Uh, here's I know, your sign. Here's your sign. I know when Bill Engvall was on the uh, Tonight Show, he, he... Well, everybody in comedy knows that date. <laughs> <laughs> he, we, we refer to it here as 9-11. <laughs> It sounds like 9 11. What are you on the highway? No, but he asked uh, to smoke a cigar. Doing? No, maybe we'd see the other guy. Who's, I think yeah. it's Bill Engvall. I mean, who's the blue collar tour? It's Larry. Uh, Bill Engvall. Ron White. Oh, it was Ron White. Albert, Albert Brooks. <laughs> no, it was Ron White, who, Ron White who insisted upon smoking a cigar while he was getting interviewed. I know. It would, Jay was not very happy. Why? Why did you bear that? Because Jay didn't like fucking. You know? <laughs> well, Jay was judging him. Was Jay, Jay judging him for smoking a cigar? Jay has no interest in smoking or drinking. Jay has never done either one. Huh? Right. You know? He's well, never done drugs. He must have been mad at you. You, you ever seen Jay yell ever? Like, snap? Get mad? He got mad once when Jay Lowe showed up like Jay, oh, a, I thought a half an hour late no. and he was like what's up with this fatty ass bitch he was like let's just do the show I don't care you know we'll just did he ever just like out. snap though I can't picture him no snapping. I never saw him snap no. you know he was always very he's actually one of the coolest dudes nice guy that's know. cool well if he gives you advice to call somebody <clears throat> like that it was always nice well you know what it was already because <laughs> you, you know what how I got the advice Ralphie May was on stage at the Tempe Improv and he was going through who was going to be appearing like next, and then he just read through the calendar, and he said, uh, yeah, and then it came to my name, and he goes, eh, you know, and, no, it's Ralphie, and he just trashed me. Wait a minute, who are you talking? Well, explain that again. Ralphie Jay, is this Jay talking? No, it, oh. it was Ralphie. It was for a second, though. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hey, look, whatever. I'm 18 beers in, but but, you know, but Ralphie said something like disparaging, and then you know I heard about it. Someone called me and said Ralphie was trash. So then I just you know I you know I asked Jay about it. And he was like, just call him, and, you know. And then I called Ralphie, and again. He was so cool. He's like, oh, nah, I was just riffing and I was going, but you know, it was, everything was cool. I don't know. I just think it like, and, and and that's why the whole thing with Howard is just, it's just like, why have, you know, like why have all these grudges? Just, just, just call. And that's I it. don't think Howard even knows you email. <laughs> <laughs> but do you really care what every single person thinks? Cause I mean, literally John, I've been John doing is this sensitive. for John, right, 22 years God. and so many people say so many horrible things about yeah, well, me. And, it's, yeah, it's hard, and it's I don't hard. care. It's hard you? business. Well, no, but they never say it to my face, but they say it about really? me, you know? Like who? Uh, lots of people say it. So why would do you care that so many people say well, no, it, about it you? No, it was because I've hung out with Ralphie a bunch of times, like before that. So I, I don't what know. What did Ralphie it's, say? It, I don't even remember, but it was it's just it's just weird. Like to me, when you hang out with somebody, like you know. Well, you, I know at the comedy cellar, people were talking about the Ralphie May stuttering John feud. For <laughs> 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 you remember when? You remember when it was me, uh, you and Gilbert Artie, and we were talking about Craig Gas, and you and Gilbert did like twenty minutes while we were oh, eating yeah, pizza yeah, yeah. <laughs> at the Brooklyn Diner. <laughs> that was the time I paid. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, time. I said every time. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, huh. Well, so you bought a new house, John. Yeah. I'm reading in some material. Famous thing, thing you bought a house. Yeah, oh, what's the name of that town again? I heard it, I heard it means something. <laughs> if I understand, it's like uh, Canoga Park for poor people. <laughs> Every time Jay says something bad, he sounds like stuttering John. What is the joke? <laughs> what is the joke about Canoga Park? What is that in English? Uh, I'm not going to bring it up again. Already, why? So, <laughs> what is that in English, John? I want to say get her done afterward. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You live across uh, from Manhattan. Beautiful view. It's That's beautiful. Right. It's gorgeous. Very nice. <laughs> I live across from the Home Depot. <laughs> No, you don't. I thought you said, well, you said it's a big house. Isn't it comfortable? No, it's just a townhouse. I mean, it's like this. Well, you got to live close to your kids, right? Yep. How are your kids doing? First of all, that is good news. You said you, your your daughter, your oldest daughter is uh, in college. Is she in college? Well, it's a he now, all right? I didn't know that. Wait, totally a he. Yeah, my oldest is transgender. Had an operation. Is that really true? Yeah. Why? No, wait, I knew true. that. Let's get this. Is well, it true? I let's, well, are you kidding? I no, I'm not kidding. kidding let's not kid at all about this. Is this yeah, no, let's be serious. Bunch. So, what, wait a minute. Is, did she a comedy show. have an operation? What? Did she have an operation where she, it's fully? He yes, he had uh, He had top surgery done. He didn't add a penis because. Wow, okay. So, now how, how old is he? 19. Is he in college? 
Hold on, just fucking light the cigarette. Uh, he is. He he did a semester at Pitzer, and then because it was very hard for him to, you know, he just he just wanted to get this top surgery done. So no, I'm saying that's great. So, so he, everything so he took off a semester, and and then he did that. Is he having hmm. trouble? Everybody's cool in his life. I mean, like other well, students. Yeah, I mean, and I, shit. I, I'm. You know, I know I'm you right. are, but I'm saying other students are they being all right with him? Well, yeah. Well, I don't know about other students. At Pitzer, but I think that he needed the time to, you know, just be a, adjust. Yeah, Absolutely, you yeah. know what I mean. And that I can know. imagine. And this was even before Caitlin. Like he called me at an at like at a like out of nowhere and just said, "Dad, I want to talk to you." And, and then we talked for a while. And he and he said, "He goes, uh, you know, I've always felt like a boy trapped right. in a girl's body, and you know, I, this is something I want to do. And I, I don't, um, I've never felt I was a girl. And mm -hmm. and I was like." You know, oh, cool. Just you know, just be happy. Right, but you then, knew you knew that uh, you know he he was gay for a while, right? Well, no, I didn't know until ninth grade when. That's pretty early, don't you yeah. think? For well, someone to come no. out like that? Oh, no, it's not to come out. I think to notice it's to that, come out. That's, oh, okay. That's not early. Well, I right. should have known when. You know, I got her at the time. You know, a pink bicycle, and she refused to ride it. Well, I mean, that. But that you were always. I remember you guys were always very cool about it. You were cool parents, which is great because <laughs> if you yeah. don't have, if a kid doesn't have that, forget it. That's that's a tough deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and then uh, in ninth grade, she came out. She got bullied all throughout high school. It's terrible. Wow. But does, it's probably that, more about you than that. What's that? Probably about you, though. Don't you think she got bullied more because you were her father? Oh no no no! They didn't know that. I mean, they, it was it was more about you well, know. Well, that doesn't like, help him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Kate she came out as a lesbian, still a girl. Yeah, and bullied for that, really. Yeah, in well, California, in this day and age. Well, yeah. yeah, it was in ninth grade. She came out, and you know, and she got bullied. In fact, the principal had to call me, told me to stop. And uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. I don't know. Oh, the joke. Oh, there you go. But anyway, no. I don't know you were exploiting your. <laughs> See, <laughs> I mean, that's two minutes right there. Ross. I've seen no, it. but actually, get her done, and then she said. <laughs> Drummer, yeah, again. come on, come on, Artie. I'll, I'll keep switch, doing this. Switch, like, get him, I'll keep, I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep giving you material. So got a one art and def You're the drummer. one who went it. Yeah, you're the one who went into that. No, no, no. But then what happened was I'm being nice. I don't want to. This is that is a serious thing. It's tough to do. No, yeah. And she got bullied, and then she decided to set up like an anti-bullying campaign. I love that. And uh, she set up a program called Friends for all the lonely now, kids. And, well, and that is something. Was, Tammy's point is: Does she were the other students aware that? Your, her father got famous on a show that was famous for bullying people for 22 years. Right? <laughs> <laughs> bully. No. <laughs> All we did was bully people. <laughs> no, but then uh, in 12th grade, uh, uh, her and a girlfriend became the first uh, uh, homecoming queen and queen in Calabasas uh, High School. Wow, that turned around. That's that's great. Great. Yeah, and this is, and this is our, and like I brought her out in the football field. It was like, obviously it's, it's, it's in halftime, and you know, mm -hmm. and and when they announced Greta at the time, right? What's your name now? What's his name? Uh, Knight. But like then, the whole place about went. It. Wow. Was, think about that. No, cool well, name. but but the whole place went crazy. You know, it, you know, it was it, it was a great. You know, what I'm saying Calabasas already. Yeah, I've been there before. All I'm right, sure. but it used to be known as Calablacklis. Right. You know, it, it's a, you know, I so you buy a house there. Kardashian yeah. showed up. And no, no. And then the Wayans family. Cala African American. Then the Wayans family moved in. It was 50 50. But <laughs> what happened is like. Do that, you do that joke? I don't know, Artie. That's something with the R. Kelly. That's something with my R. Kelly. That's, that's with my R. Kelly did. <laughs> no, but. No, but seriously, it was a, that's the Wayne Cage Twelve. No. <laughs> that's your Cage Twelve. No, it was a big triumph, and uh, you know, and like the news covered, but they never mentioned me. In fact, Baba Boo even said when I talked to him. Well, it's probably it. good for ratings. No, they never mentioned me at all. And, and it's and not your story. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah, right. It's not about you. It's sure it's good that they did. No, I know, but you were asking me, but nobody, you know, it wasn't about me, and I was very proud. What about and, uh, what about your other children? You have three, right? Yeah, my <laughs> my middle daughter is. Now she doing? She's in high honors, and it's great. You know, excelling. She's won a billion <laughs> awards for academics. So you're close with them, divorce wise. You guys, you yeah, see yeah, yeah, yeah. How it, often do you have custody? And then my son is ten. Uh, now, when is he going to be old enough to drive you around? <laughs> <laughs> Four years. 
Now is Justin going to train him? <laughs> and he, uh, what does he want to do? Does he play ball? Is he? Uh, he's know? a skateboarder. Oh, that's oh, good. That's cool. Which like, I, you know, California skateboard kid. Yeah, yeah, that's I, cool. I, I know I shouldn't have got him into weed, but he's uh, a skateboarder, uh, and uh, he also. Do you say butt real quick after every joke? <laughs> no, all right, I just know you're going to trash me, so I don't care. But no, anyway. I'm just saying I don't know if you should do that. Because you know what? It's like it's like you don't have confidence in the punchline. You think you got to do something. I don't think confidence in the punchline is the only problem. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. all angles, don't get John. mad. Now, see, don't get mad. I'm John. not mad. No, I'm not mad. What happened to the circle of trust? I'm yeah. just I'm, saying. I'm not mad at all. But anyway, oh. but <laughs> I'll tell you a funny anyway. story. Anyway, I'll, about, yeah. I'll tell you a funny story. Go ahead. Oh, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to laugh. Cause I'm... No, no, no. It's about time, but. <laughs> get her done. Uh, yeah, you get her done, but go ahead. Go ahead. What is nah, it? I'm not even. What is the funny story? Go nah, ahead. I might get in trouble for it. Actually, oh, well, I'm not, well, I'm not, I'm not, you worry about that now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is somebody, seriously, somebody might get pissed. Well, yeah. There is a lot of there is a lot of what John and I can't talk about. There is a lot of stern show guys, but we, you know, you work there a long time, and you do become friendly with people, and there's a. Uh, you know, some people that you hope are doing okay that I really like. No, but no, you know, yes. my son's really cool. He's he's like, That's he, cool. you know, he's ten in a freaking fifteen year old's body. I mean, the kid's a, a, well, you're a studying, huge, studying that hard. Well, he's a huge computer guy, and he's Girls learned guys' body. He's learned how to hack. Oh. Let's just say that. Really? What do you hack into? Oh, wow. oh my God. <laughs> Probably your your Tinder account or something? No, he's hacked into things. That's what I'm worried about already. Well, like, are you kidding me? Like, like, I don't want to get I think it's cool. Oh. What do you hack into? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I just, I don't, I'm, I'm a little worried Global about Global thermonuclear yeah, war. Yeah, exactly. There's a reference. Larry the exactly. You really dated all of us. Larry exactly. the cable, Larry the cable, guy, Larry the cable guy's joke book. Did he get <laughs> Did he get into that? <laughs> no, but he's disclaimer. He's, he is. He's like friend. he's like a he's a genius too. The kid like all, like all the kids are really really bright. Yeah, who do they take after? There we go. Uh, <laughs> now nah, you guys are very you got you and Suzanne are very bright. Uh, uh, but you know she's got a boyfriend already. Uh, who does? Suzanne. Are they getting married? Oh, they live in Sherman Oaks, which is like you know twenty minutes away. He's uh, right in your house. Well, that's good. No, no, no. They got their own place. What does he do? Is he in the business? <laughs> He's a his, Susanna, his ex-wife. What's his <laughs> <laughs> He's a struggling artist. What's his catchphrase? Oh, no. He's a struggling artist. He's, what's, what's his catchphrase? Uh, well, <laughs> well, he's half white, half African-American. Is he really? Yeah. Stephen Curry. So, uh, so she won the mulatto? <laughs> <laughs> Play a little wordplay. That was quick. Justin doesn't even get know that word. Get her done. <laughs> she won the mulatto, but... No, what the, so what does that mean? So that's good. Yeah, Why do you have to bring that up? It's racist ball. to even bring that up. No, I just thought that you would enjoy that to Why? make fun of me. I would not. Why would I make fun of you? Because you walk while she's dating a black guy. I would never do. That. Would you get back with her if? Uh... No, you don't no. want to do that. No. no. I you mean, don't. there's not. I mean, I love the girl. Always will love her, but I'm not. Uh... Yeah, a black guy struggling artist. I'm sure he makes a lot of money. <laughs> Uh, Black guy struggling artist. <laughs> that adds up to a big painter. <laughs> what is, what kind of art? What does he do? Is he a painter? He's a painter. Like Basquiat, a... like oh. Jean Michel Basquiat. <laughs> He's a boat builder. Is he? <laughs> yes, he builds boats. Oh, really? Like George, like George Steinbrenner. What? Like models? Like, like why, an ar- <laughs> <laughs> hey, why an artist? No, like <laughs> sailboats. It's like real oh, like boats. Real boats. <laughs> so he could have a business doing that. Like like sailboats. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And uh, he builds. So is he building a sailboat right now? He has one in the garage, actually. At the and place. he's got and a full any, boat. Any takers on it? Hmm. So he waits for people who want to buy a sailboat, and he sells them a sailboat. I guess that's what he does. Already. Is the sailboat market big in Sherman Oaks? He's a nice guy. I don't have a problem. I sounds like a great guy. Yeah, but, uh, so is he good to your kids? He's, uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> it, little, sounds, well, I don't want, it sounds awkward. I don't want to get him. No, he, he's good to the kids. And he complains from your kids about him. Yes. He's good to the kids. Really? Uh, that was a yes. <laughs> Does he watch them at the no, zoo? What? <laughs> Does he watch them at the zoo? <laughs> was there ever a time? Does he what? Dan, look at Dan. At the what? zoo. But Dan laughs, it's painful. <laughs> like, I love the pain on his face. It looks like Chinese torture. <laughs> oh, for me? <laughs> no, for Dan. I love when he laughs. Because uh, kids, kids at the zoo, kids at the zoo uh, can get away from you. No. I love it. 
Does he have kids that he brought into the picture? Yes. Of course. Oh my god. So they live with two of his little girls. In, so in, uh, in the house. do they watch? They better watch those kids at the enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> Does he teach your kids how to get over the fence? <laughs> Just, you know, his kids teach it, This kids is so know. wrong. They get along, all the kids. They Do they? Yeah, that's yes. True. They all get along. And there was, was there ever a point? I got to say something to this guy because my kids complain. Are nervous. you are you married? No. Are you divorced? No. Have you ever been married? No. But it's not a hard thought process, right? Yeah, we. Well, what I'm saying is, well, there, what, uh, that, what, he's what, asking a what, question. What is that? Yeah. No, no, no. But hey, what are you saying? It was. A, well, I was. Why were you asking me that? Because I I should know. The scenario on some level? I don't know. Well, oh, okay. Do you have any children? I don't. Oh. Do you want them? I think maybe one day, but I'm not. It could not happen, too. Well, your, well, your future. Okay. Uh, Do you want kids already? I'll take the two of Mulatto kids. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take Justin. Are they for sale? <laughs> No, I would. I want kids. I don't know. It's, I, probably not. That's why I'm. I here. thought. I've always thought that you would want a son just to take him to the baseball game. Yeah, and right. then what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> game ends or something. Have him drive you home. I like him. To, uh, exactly. <laughs> and then what? No, but, I, I, I don't know. I don't think I want kids. Though. Really? Like all your life? Because all my life, I always wanted kids. Well, but, you're Puerto did you tell me? No. <laughs> uh, I love my son. I'm happy that he's here, but. I was only grown Not up and got pregnant by accident. It's a big responsibility, especially if you're a comedian. You're traveling, and you got it's a living thing you got to take yeah. care of. I know, you know. And, I, know, I, and always... I worry about. I I don't know if you. I worry about like messing him up more than anything. Right. They come out good. Then it's the parents that mess them up. Right. But yours is what eight? Eight. Eight. Yeah. I mean, I, I I you know I love my kids. I wish I had more. Actually. Well, go ahead. You can have more still. You're uh, a man. Yeah. You can have more. That means I gotta bring get. Married. You don't have to do that. Why don't you just buy, you know? You're Puerto Rican. You don't have to get married. I know. I hit it in the first time, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but, you know. Because my first one. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> but the first one. Like, it's just, it's like, it's like, it's like, I got a target on my fucking back. And, <laughs> but I just take it because. What? Don't no. be a victim. Be, be, be a hero. I am a victim. I'm a stutterer. <laughs> well, I, well, stuttering gave you, you know, a nice life. That's true. Yeah. It did. It did. But, you know, honestly. When you drink, do you stutter more? No, I don't stutter at all when I'm drinking. I mean, you always said that. I remember about that. Yeah, I, mean, I always said that. Got, that you like I'm slurring, John. You get relaxed. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I you know, like I don't stutter when I'm because drinking. Because you're, you could live life and be but you sociable. Know what, but John, the stutterer, that guy has a bad affliction. Actually. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Because uh, I have really bad OCD. I right. mean, bad OCD. Like I take, I take medication for it. Right. Clearly, you're uh, very precise about everything. And. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, well, how does that manifest itself? You know, because so, OCD people used to have everything organized, everything's out of no, place. No, I'm, I'm, I'm the other OCD. I'm a slob, but right. the, the, but but I do like if I have a bad thought, like if I'm if I'm leaving your house, you know, and, right. And then I have a bad thought, I hold the door open and walk back in, and, and then obsessed. walk back out. You know, oh, well, yeah. and yeah, no, it's 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 awful. He called at me seven times when we were on the balcony oh, party. So what happens right. when you have a funny thought? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, but so can't get so mad at me. Look at you, so mad. No, I'm not mad at you at all. So no, I love you, Tammy. I'm not mad at anybody. But no, no. But the <laughs> truth is, and I, you know, because my all my kids have it. Oh, that sucks. And, yeah. and you know, and my dad. It's tough to see a kid with that because yeah. Like, and my dad had it, and uh, you know, like for me, believe it or not, to have like some beers, it mm -hmm. takes it takes the edge off it. Oh, no, just, I believe that completely. That. I mean, so you should try heroin. <laughs> no, but I or mean, coke. It, <laughs> yeah, no, it really, it really does. Well, help. of course, Dan. It's, I mean, I mean, John, it's alcohol. Of course, it does. It, it, it helps you a lot. I mean, that's. What I mean, it takes that edge. John, yeah, well, yeah, it takes it right down. Well, I used to do coke and sit in my room. Well, you focus. You focus more on coke. Because it calmed on me down. Oh, really? Yeah. Coke would calm me down. I didn't know coke calmed me down. Some people For do. For me, it did. Because I'm crazy in my head. Mm. Some people do coke. Oh, and get really? over the uh, They get over the gorilla enclosure. Go by myself. <laughs> 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 it's on this gorilla enclosure. Uh, his name is Harambi. Well, let's. Uh, God what? rest his soul. Let's. Uh, <laughs> what took him right out? Took him right out. <laughs> Put it this way: If I have a three-year-old kid and a, a silverback gorilla is pulling its shorts up, if you have a gun and you don't shoot, <laughs> yeah. no, no, I, I agree they had to kill him. But you know what, Tammy? I don't believe that 
the gorilla was going to kill that kid. I don't think so either. Well, I don't I think, think you're a judge them. of gorillas. Uh, so fuck them. I don't, you know, I don't think you know. I don't think you're a judge Let's of gorillas. Give well, yeah, no, I know that, but I, I just don't think he would have. But uh, but I don't blame them for killing him. Yeah, it's Justin, start, Justin, start take. the car. <laughs> 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 let's give our plugs. Not, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. It's not the first hole I dug. John, where you got where you got coming up? I'm going to be at the uh, headlining, the uh, Tao Improv. Uh, uh, j- on, uh, say it like Bud Friedman. I don't know how Bud you, would you say You were it. doing it earlier. Well, with your, oh, with oh, oh, yes. I'll be at the Tao Improv uh, June 22nd to the 26th. Try, and then, try it not like them. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then I'm going to be at the Irvine Improv. The, the Irvine Improv headlining that June 15th. That's great. And then I'll be in Vegas, July. Uh, Where do you play in Vegas? Well, you know what, Artie? I'm one of the guys that was booked to do a week at the um, improv at Harris. And then what happened? I don't know. If it, like, they closed down, you know, the improv in June. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was. You think they knew that before they booked it? Yeah, I think they knew I was coming. <laughs> After okay. they booked it. Who else was going to do it? Well, I was the headliner, but it doesn't matter. They just. They just closed it down, and then so that went away. And some guy, you love this. So some guy, I'm like, all right, well, there goes fucking, you know, like you know, some good money, and then uh, at least twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> yes, at least twenty five hundred. <laughs> Sorry, Russ. No, I. No, and, uh, I, I thought that was more than enough. Uh, it, no, it was actually more than that. And then more. Well, and then uh, I some it, some guy called me and just said, hey. Do you want to come to the Adrenaline Bar and Grill? And then, you know. Tammy, what are your plugs? <laughs> uh, Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, yeah, the comedy off Broadway, way off Broadway. And then uh, the Des Moines Funny Bone. And when's your next, what are you going to do with the podcast? Mm-hmm. Well, these are two now. This is now. my last podcast. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been Dang, wonderful. You did nothing wrong today at all. Yeah. Nothing. We're fine. Yeah, no, I think everything was fine. And then I'll be, uh, <laughs> so how many of, how many are in the book? What's that? How many podcasts are in the book? Well, after this, there'll be four. Yes. And then uh, none of aired yet. What's that? None of aired yet. Two. Two aired. Oh, okay, Howie so you got two. You got two of the gear. Yeah. Now the Pat Cooper one is gonna drop on Wednesday. Drop. Drop. Who you, P Diddy? <laughs> yeah, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Whatever, it'll Rush, Justin, where, Justin, where are you going to be? Wherever, right outside wherever John is. Wherever John is. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be in therapy. That's where he's going to be. Uh, but go ahead and follow me at Stuttering John M on Twitter. Did you ever get verified? No. Not yet? No. They won't do it. And Why then. Not? Why won't you do that? I don't know. And then StutteringJohnMelendez.com. And Tammy, you want to like plug your sites? How many uh, followers do you have? Dude, I'm still. So it's just eleven thousand. I know you have three, four hundred thousand. That's not what I'm asking. That's not why I'm asking you. No, I only have eleven thousand, man. Okay. I'm a big loser. <laughs> Justin, thanks, Dan. Thanks, Rush. You want to mention anything? No, I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rush, you want to go? Want to go with me to the Columbus 